106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Welcome to the Goddamn Podcast with Drew and TJ. Let's get this goddamn thing started. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right. Goddamn oh, right. Oh, goddamn. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, that's you what don't we just ask spring that week. on. You don't just spring that on somebody. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> Your wife Jesus has been cuddling Christ. next to that for over a decade now. How long have you been married? I don't want her anywhere near this. No, get the fuck back. You're not looking at that. Next time she calls you. <laughs> Lisa. Just, please, please call him. Oh yeah, it God. is creepy. It's a, like a baby. Fuck. Every time she calls you baby doll. Baldy doll. <laughs> Baby bald. Jesus Christ. like a giant toddler Voldemort. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> a giant toddler Voldemort. Yes. Yes. <sighs> we love you, Miss Dark Matter. It's always great to hear from her. It is. You, we, we, we still be able to do it, right? Um, no. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You see what you That's Dark Matter's O face right there. Yeah, we caught Buck Dark Matter. Neato, gang. Way to go. Yeah. Everybody awesome. worked together on that one. Good job. <laughs> good stuff. I, I have decided to sue Adobe because of all of the bullshit that I've seen ever since I fucking clicked on the show today and saw that that slanderous thumbnail i decided i'm that's it i'm suing adobe at first i thought i'm going to sue every all you know peachy and all you bastards that make this stuff but no no you the deep money is adobe so i'm doing the typical suing thing and going right after here, adobe here, here was here was the other option for a thumbnail that one's going to get used <laughs> yeah that's why this one's still sitting on the oh, desktop oh god it looks There's like no... I'm, I'm having a hard time believing what I'm seeing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we, have like like, the we have like the weirdest looks. Were we really making those looks or did someone add um, that in? Because that looks ridiculous. Um, dear. You, seeing as how it's... <laughs> seeing as how it's the end of our relationship and all. Might as well just go all the way. At least they're making the, uh, they're making the old lady's day. Your effort has been worth it, guys. She recognizes that doll. She's dying to know what it's from. It's from the Jesus. Puppet oh yeah, thing. yeah, that's what it was. It's Here, I'll, Jesus I'll, I'll pull it up. While, I'll pull it up while we all talk about it. pulling it up. All right. Anyway, uh, quick announcements. Uh, for the patrons, we haven't done the patron show yet uh, this month, so stay tuned to your patron messages. Um, we will be doing that if you're not a patron. Patreon.com slash goddamn. Uh, tonight we have two <laughs> magic phrases. We we didn't slip the, la the last one in there. Um, so we're going to do two tonight. So no copy pasta. You don't yeah. know which one's going to be first. Yeah, there it is. Let's hear it. Oh, God. Your, your mom must have made you watch it or something. I Jesus. Well, I'll be a sunbeam yeah. for Sunbeam. I'll be a sunbeam for him. Jesus. Wow. And that's the that's the it? fucking freeze frame that we use. That is the exact one. You know, one. So, some some dude in the eighties yeah. like saw this shit and was like a killer doll horror movie. It's such a good idea. Chucky. Yeah. Baldy. I actually had that freaking doll. Oh my really? god. Mm. Can we just call Miss Dark I... Matter Bride of Baldy? <laughs> Bride of Baldy. Let's see. Alright, well, since we have two, 
magic phrases tonight. You don't know which one's going to go first. We, we're going to use them both tonight. Uh, the first one is still going to be the same one we had last week that we didn't use yet, and that's the good, the bad, and the baldy. And the next one, well, I'll let you choose. You want uh, ballroom, bald room blitz, uh, Baldemort, monsters bald. <laughs> Baldroom Blitz is really good. Yeah, all right, let's go with that. Baldroom Blitz. So it's the good, the bad, and the baldy. And it's, Baldroom it's Blitz. It's the Baldroom Blitz. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it turned into a Baldroom Blitz. Baldroom Blitz. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody make that song. Don't just say it. Just make the song. <laughs> anyway, all right. So those are your two magic phrases for tonight. They will both be effective after the first break, um, and. Again, there's no specific order, so it, be careful. You basically got a 50-50 if you want to just, you know, copy pasta it in there. But uh, I figured this will make it a little more interesting. And, of course, we'll continue giving stuff away uh, in line like we have been to make sure everyone gets a little something. Um, Drew, I didn't send you any material, um, okay. but I have a ton. You have you yeah, good? I, I got I got quite a bit, too. All right, and then last announcement, um, Streamlabs is open, as usual, mm -hmm. and as promised, I made the fucking time to make a new Streamlabs. We'll get to experience it to the first person. I think I made it so it has to be exactly $5.55 for this one to work, uh, so it'll make it easy for people to, to choose that one. Nice. But uh, I'm looking forward to whoever pops that cherry, and honestly, I want to hear it as many times as possible tonight. I put some put some effort into it. I think it'll be well worth it. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, what's what's been going on, guys? Uh, well, apparently I'm I've got like a cold again. This is like the third time since July. I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. I you you I, you talked to me last fucking week. I was yeah. rough. I feel a lot better now. I'm still hacking shit up though. I got yeah, like every morning. I got some lung butter. It, it's just like uh, normally I'll go like in an entire year. I might get a cold once. I've had like three times since like July, and I'm oh I had strep throat in one of them, but I've had uh, these last two have just been like colds, and like it's I'll get over it, and like three weeks later I get it again. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. I blame dark matter naturally. He he is known to attack the immune system. <laughs> I've I've been sticking my microphone in the toilet. That's how you're getting it, bro. <laughs> this this story it. See, everything that you say, I'm looking at you, that disturbing fucking image of you, and so it makes everything ten you can't times picture worse. That, you can't picture that thing sticking a mic in the toilet? Sure you can. Oh, yeah, I definitely can. I, I can, can picture that I, thing I, drowning infants in the toilet. I, I picture <laughs> that thing having infinite pink eye that just never goes away. Anyway, Dark Matter, you were one of those people um, that I have uh, a prize wrapped up and ready to go. I just have not gone to the post office again. It's you don't love me enough. Oh like yeah, well I'm, I'm waiting for it to not to be cold anymore, so I can send you send you your sweatshirt. Keep bear in mind he's talking about Florida cold. So mm. sweatshirt. It was. It, uh, we've got a frost warning tonight, guys. For, yeah. They're like cover cover your your fragile plants. And yeah. I'm like, dude, in North Carolina they got like two inches of snow and it shut the whole fucking place down. No, nah, it's it's been cold here. It froze last night. We get up this morning and went to the store and it was like I actually had to use like the defrost on the car and I'm like oh I forgot this thing had what this. the dude exactly I, I was oh. like I was like I don't know if I've ever used the heater on my car let's find out if it works it worked yeah no it's it's been yeah it's been pretty chilly and that's what's crazy is like it gets a bit chilly here this time of year and then they pull out like the like uh, we were at Walmart earlier and they have like these badass like thick Dickies jackets that look fucking great but I'm like dude I want to buy it but like there's only like three weeks out of the year I can wear this fucking thing. That's my problem with this. I love this sweatshirt. It actually fit. It's like comfortable as fuck and I yeah. love it. It's it's the perfect sweatshirt and I get to wear it for like two weeks out of the year. Yeah. I, I almost like want to take it to work so when I have to like, you know, be in the freezer or some shit I can use it but I don't want to fuck it up either. Yeah. It's like just a nice plain black champion sweatshirt that it's made in the tall size and I'm like, oh, I'm in love. Oh, finally <laughs> something nice, that's like not... It's one of those, Dude, every one time of those you, where you're, like, when your hands are cold, you put it in the pockets, it's, like, instantly, like, it just comforts yeah. them. Like, oh, and, I'm, and the pockets aren't, like, up fucking here. Like, I do, like, you yeah. get a, p people might not know this, when you're tall, like, an extra large, I can fit in, right? But it won't, it's not long enough. So you have to get a 2X so that you get an extra, 
like little bit of length out of it, but then you get a whole bunch of width that just floats around. So when you get something in a tall size, it is a beautiful thing. It finally fits like a t-shirt fucking should or a, a hoodie in this case. Anyway, all right. With all that out of the way, um, yeah. Any anything else you guys can think of, or you want to just hit some content, or you want to bullshit until we get a streamlabs, and then we'll hit some content. Oh uh, well, we let's can listen have... to Dark Matter ramble until somebody works up, and then we'll hit some content. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Dark Matter. What's on your mind? Um, I saw a video of a guy called Sunday Sunday, who who has ten million subscribers of mostly little kids and he just dropped pascal's wager on him <laughs> Jesus like, Christ. what is is he a is it a religious channel no he's a minecraft gamer youtuber oh. and he's he's got like 10 million little kids subscribers and he's like you guys you guys if you you know if you're wrong you got everything to lose you could go to you could burn in hell oh god Jesus. it's so frustrating because Atheists have just beat that whole dead horse in, in like thousands upon thousands of Pascal Wagers videos. It was insufferable. And then it's like how much of a setback is it when one guy with 10 million subs just drops his shit on a bunch of kids? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of kids are like, Well, that's oh, the shit. thing is that's why I never bought into the whole like, we, you know, atheism has won. Now let's move on. Right, I'm like, right. I'm like, dude, not even fucking close. We are, we are still like the most hated minority. I can't uh, like, get like, off. You, I can't we're not get off unless a morbidly that. obese woman dressed like Mary Poppins steps on Twinkies while watching tentacle porn. <laughs> Hello, baby face DM. How are you doing today? You bored the fuck? Fuck. That that is out of context and technically slander. That's fake <laughs> news. No. Hey, can I hear it one more time since this is new? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I want to hear it as many times as possible tonight. Jesus Christ. Oh come on, play. Is it too is it too fresh? Maybe it's too fresh. Hold on. Oh. 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 One, two, three, four, noinch, noinch, noinch. I may not to see like it, but I like people just to in small ramoons. Arnold is a numero uno. Uh, yeah, I like people in small amounts as well, but I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to like lose faith. And I think part of the problem with Florida is that we build really expensive neighborhoods right next to really shitty neighborhoods and so you just get like this perfect mixture of like hoity-toity entitled douchebags driving brand new beamers and like total trash and they all like are intermingling yep tj just explained florida yeah that's basically florida Uh, it's getting tiresome well now that we have stream labs we can we can go ahead with the content. We can. Right? Let's get some content. And and we are. I, I do. I want to hear what what it takes to get dark matter off as many times as possible tonight. Five fifty five is the amount. Oh, <clears throat> what what are you doing with this material, TJ? Are you like getting all worked up? Is that why you want to hear it so much? Bro, you know how hard I laughed making like editing that clip out. <laughs> It was fucking wonderful. And not only that, but the fact that Drew and I both like did a time check immediately afterwards. <laughs> it's really, it that's gonna a, be that's Yeah, a that's keeper. a keeper. Definitely. A keeper. Um so yeah, but here's the other thing. Fucking YouTube went and like really fucked up their their um what's what's it called? The creator page? Yeah, the oh, creator yeah. page thing. Oh, they cool. totally fucking put in some beta thing. And I used that to just edit out the tiny little clips I would need, you know, and then I'd, I'd put it to MP3. Yeah, and- if if you go, that, they they did this like a few months ago. Every time I even go to do a live stream, you have to go to Creator Studio. And then it takes you to that thing. And then at the very bottom left corner, you'll see like uh, the classic screen, like oh. whatever it's called. You click on that, and it'll it'll take you there. They'll eventually get rid of that too. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon did the same thing with with the fucking with your like to look through your patrons. Now it takes you to this totally like you can't work with it page that shows like all kinds of outdated shit and in no particular fucking order. 
and then you have to click on the like oh still looking for the old way that actually worked fine yeah click here like why do i have to click an extra button why did you add this this totally useless fucking feature that reminds me did you uh guys lose any patrons we did recently? We, we, how, uh, how bad was it? it i don't know we i've only had one uh directly tell me and they, they of course said it was not uh, our fault or anything like that yeah i've had the same too wow. um but in fact uh, the one person who who told me that they were going you know they deleted their entire patreon um yeah. account so um actually we're doing pretty good <laughs> we, we've good. we're higher than the last time i looked Good. Isn't I, I, I've been hearing stuff recently? Isn't uh, Patreon starting to do a lot of that same shit, like where they're kicking people off? Yeah, that's I, why. I'm that's not, why they why. people were leaving. Yeah, well, at least a few. I didn't lose. Podcasts. I didn't lose that much, um, fortunately. Yeah, that's good. No, I heard that yeah, they. Uh, I think. I think they said Milo was on there for a day, and they got yeah. rid of him. I, I thought I heard Sargon got kicked. And what's all this? Yeah. Subscribe to to PewDiePie. What's that all about? What's going on with that? I just see that hashtag everywhere. Oh, that's because uh, there's a another channel that was getting pretty close to overtaking him, and it's it's like a big corporate channel, so they they still wanted you know a a YouTuber to keep the top spot, so they were all you know just you know keep subscribing to PewDiePie. My so daughter has not stopped talking about this like YouTube Rewind. Oh yeah. Can, what can you that? can you look that up real quick, Drew, on YouTube? It's called YouTube Rewind, and it's where they they go back and and have people or they cover like what was popular during a certain year on YouTube and they have YouTubers from that time I guess talk about it or whatever but <laughs> she was like the dislike ratio is fucking unreal you know it's going to be hilarious is when I play this video and we get a copyright strike from YouTube no we don't play the video just just uh, like show me like wow. the dislike okay uh, in the top thing when I type in YouTube rewind there's 112 million views and holy shit that okay, like, so what's that, the like to dislike? Let put that up for us. Okay. I gotta see this. I right, remember there's. Is this uh, what my daughter? My daughter is like checking it every few hours. She thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. The YouTube. The problem was that YouTube got so out of touch with what it, what it is, and what it yeah. you know should stay. Like, it's it's not TV. You know, people left tv to come to places like youtube mm -hmm. yeah i i left tv to come to youtube and you know it's it's not we don't want another you know we don't need another tv another netflix another hulu we we want a place where just regular everyday people can can upload you know, their shit and be creative shit. and whatever yeah. but that, that youtube doesn't care about that anymore you know youtube now does a thing where you can buy a premium membership or whatever and see no ads right and right. i mean i have an ad blocker most people most people do or whatever but uh yeah. like for my phone i might here's the thing i would have probably done that like six or seven years ago when uh -huh. when they instead instead of them fucking everything up they would have just been like hey just just uh, pay us you know like five or ten bucks a month or whatever and i would have been like fine and instead they went in a totally different uh, direction totally fucked everything up and now the way that they try and make money is is kind of ridiculous but and they and the problem is that they are um like have a complete monopoly on it no other site N nobody's like searching for videos on fucking uh, da like, daily motion and yeah like all those other watch and, mojo or and the thing is i don't know enough about all this but i have to wonder why because like like i say like markets usually go towards demand and i'm thinking like what is like what is the obstacle there what is the road there has to be some kind of a fucking roadblock because everybody it's... loved youtube like it was like three years ago it wasn't making enough money youtube bled money for a long time before yeah. um they started turning a profit, and Google bought it. Yeah, but you see, I, I think Google bought it when it was still losing money, right? I don't, I don't know, but I know once Google bought it, that's when it really started like going downhill. Oh yeah, yeah but the thing is, sure. there's, there's remember still Google so much... Plus? <laughs> yeah, they just they, they got ended rid of that. It. Yeah, they yeah. just recently ended it. But yeah, but that's what I'm saying is like everybody around now. That was just a few years ago that it really started to go downhill. So uh, just three years ago, almost everybody that's using it now was using it three years ago. And everybody now, overwhelmingly, like you see from this, even they want it like it was. So sure. that's, that's what I'm saying. Is like there's such a demand for that. Like, what, what is what is like has happened there where there's like a roadblock where nobody else there's like no other game in town for this. I used to waste so many fucking hours typing out like 
my my 500 character fucking limit uh, and, <laughs> yeah. and back and forths with people and i i it was so much fun for me and like the, all that is like totally gone replying to people like i can't even fucking i I've, i can't remember the last time i i cared to look at the fucking comments or whatever or or was uh, like cared like oh i got an alert alert means what the fuck ever the stupid bell stays at like 99 yeah. plus and I just, I never touch the stupid fucking thing. I never go to see if anyone's replied to something I've said or if it was like, if I made a snarky comment, if how many thumbs up it got. The, the last one I, I saw actually was a long time ago. I left a snarky ass comment on a Dark Matter video. Like, because I, like <laughs> I like to do that because it, yeah, people that don't too. know come, come and like, they come at you. But I was pleasantly just, uh, surprised to see like a shitload of likes on it and that. Uh, most people were in on the joke, so it was uh, a yeah, was pleasant, I, surprising. I, I like to do that uh, occasionally on on Twitter too. Dark Matter has <laughs> dark, dark Matter. <laughs> just every once in a while, I'll just be like, I'm kind of bored, and it just dude his his fuck fucking fans it. defend his bald ass voraciously. They're just like they ah! know what's good. They know what's good. They know what's best in life. Yeah. <laughs> What is best in life? Dark matter videos. Oh my God. <laughs> no, the, the one I was thinking of before this. Okay, now it's YouTube uh, Rewind. Uh, remember, it was YouTube Heroes. Oh God, that we, was we, a when disaster. That, when that first came out, we showed the like dislikes on that, and it was it was even worse. I think. Yeah, like it's like they consistently just come up with these bad ideas, and you know, their best idea they could have is just to. Put it up and just leave shit alone. Just leave shit alone and, you know... If you're going to have tweaks, it. don't make them, like... First of all, don't make them pointless. They have to, like, they, these things that they did, like changing the alert system, like, really pointless and not... not it didn't help, for especially for creators. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you're just a, just a commenter, it's nice for you. I wouldn't know. As a creator, it's a complete fucking annoyance, and it disinterests you from the conversations happening on your videos. Um, and then, like, the changes, like, oh, comments, like, you, they, they got rid of top, like, the, it, now it's, like, top rated or newest or whatever, but I just like the old fucking top comments. Mm -hmm. A couple of top, that was a great idea. Fucking okay, improvement. You just improve the comment section by putting like the two highest rated comments up top so they're easy to view and they're usually great to read. And I really enjoyed um, seeing my comments up in the top comments, especially on like higher viewed I, videos or whatever. I like the fact that the owner of the video can love a comment so you can see that you know yeah, that the yeah. person that's a good that, change that, as well. Yeah, yeah, they usually move but, those comments so they'll, usually they'll move usually up to get the top. Of, then they'll, they'll get rid of it. Like they did the top comments. Like just, I don't need like the whole weird list, and it seems like it's not. It's just jumbled. I have a hard time finding. If I leave a comment and then I go search for it, I can't fucking find the damn thing. Like I search for it, it's fucking impossible to find, and you gotta just endlessly scroll or whatever. Like it's it's just crap. Yeah, uh, it's uh, not friendly, good or good interface compared to what it used to be. Yeah, uh, dramatic also mentioned uh, as not only can they love it, you can also pin comments. Like you as a creator right. can yeah, pin that's your a own good favorite idea comment. Too. Yeah, really good ideas. But like even now, it's like the the fucking down thumbing a comment doesn't even work. It that yeah, hasn't worked it in does, years. Why do they fucking keep it if it doesn't goddamn work? And and it, I guess it's supposed to be so you see less comments like that or some shit. But get the fuck out of here! Your your you algorithm some, already blows. You remember some of the hilarity of the old days when you see like a comment that has thousands of down thumbs? And it would say like <laughs> it says something like uh, it was spam or something, and then you could click on it and you could read it. Yeah. And then a lot yeah. of the times you would read it like, "Wow, that's retarded." Then you would down thumb it. Dude, I miss that so much. God, they got rid of so so many fun features. It's um, it's unfortunate. Uh, and I, I I hate to be like that, like it was better back before, you know, like I hate change or whatever. But I mean, come on, this is pointless, useless change that yeah. does nothing but but ruin the interface and and disappoint people. And like, I don't know who the morons they have, like working this shit, uh, and 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 deciding that this is the the way to to run. A, I mean, if they did it right, God, can you imagine? If, if yeah. YouTube like actually did shit right and and just like continually either left the the good shit be and or made small little improvements to help you know make they God I would I would happily be paying a fucking monthly subscription 
Oh, we got a, a two dollar super chat from, from the fat brown from buffalo. Fat brown buffalo it says Ching Chong Wing Long Ding Dong Ping Pong. So what is it? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Ching Chong Ping Pong Ding Dong. Okay. I'm sorry. Big difference there. Thank you for that input. Fat Thank brown you. Buffalo. Thank you. And you just gave Google, let's see, 60 cents. Because <laughs> they take 30% so of a super chats, while Streamlabs only takes 10%. But I'm sure Google appreciates that 60 cents. But we appreciate the dollar forty. so don't don't get me wrong. All right, the, the first video we got to play tonight is I, fi- I found the one that I was talking about. Remember the one where they're doing like the demonstration videos of like when you have like a knife attacker? I found the one yeah. that I was talking about. All right, it's called The Hooded Man is My Hero. Como defenderse de un ataque con cuchillo? Él va a ser el que me va a atacar. Por supuesto que voy a ser el que se va a defender. Sí, del ataque con cuchillo. El primer ataque va a ser sobre lo que es. Ahora, te voy a atacar. Sí, ataque. Ahí va, sobre lo que es. Lo que es, paso por abajo. Y es... No, no. Ahí. No, 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 no. Yo tengo que cuando atacar porque si no, no puedo decir. Ahora, ahora. No, 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 that stops you from getting raped, Dark Matter. Bro, that, this guy, this guy, <laughs> it, he reminds me of um, Hank Hill's father, who had his shins blown off. <laughs> oh, yeah, and has to just walk straight like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, oh, that's how you that's how you get rid of the, the, the weapon, you see. You say, hey, wait a minute, buddy, put your arm down a little bit so I can reach my leg up there to kick it. There we go. He just. <laughs> Good oh, shit. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Thanks so many way. I've seen the other one where the guy is like, he's trying to do a throw or some shit, and he's like, grab onto my, like his gi or whatever he's wearing, uh, and he's the guy's grabbing a hold of it, and he keeps trying to like do this move where he breaks the hold and does something or whatever, and he keeps hitting the guy, and he's like, all right, loosen up your grip a little bit. <laughs> He's like, all right, loosen, 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 and he's hitting, he's like, all right, loosen it, loosen it, loosen it. And he's getting fucking pissed because the guy won't fucking loosen his grip up. Like, he actually, like, throws real blows at him and shit. Uh, good shit. Maybe I'll find that one for the next uh, next show or maybe the patron show. Let's, let's try this. This is Go Go Gadget Umbrella. <laughs> yo. Yo, you guys need umbrellas? I got one for five or two for 15. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> seriously. Love, the best part is that it opens once it hits. Did you buy this from the fucking penguin? Hey, I, I will tell you this much: that uh, the umbrella that I normally like use, I keep in the car. That I, is that one that I bought in DC. Really? That I still have so mine well. as well. I still have mine as well. That was it just doesn't... fucking hilarious when that guy <laughs> tried to sell one for five, two for fifteen. No, no, he's he's asking. He's saying people like ten or. 10 bucks I think was what they were trying to charge mm. and Drew well, I, I got I got mine first I was still up the, they had already y'all went down into like the, the train part or whatever but I was still up there and it was about to start sprinkling those dudes are coming around they were like 5 bucks 5 bucks is about to start sprinkling started sprinkling and I was like okay 5 bucks so here by the time you guys you rolled, baby the secret back up, she the whispers price just to you Allah Akbar GDP and DM Please put up an account on well. AT list GDP. Never mind DM. What is what is Okay. This? Subscribe star. It must be another I don't know. Is it a Streamlabs it's alternative a, a or Patreon, a, a Oh Patreon, Patreon alternative. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Sure. Well, well it's here I'm on the I'm on the page. Well Publish content. I get paid. That's what we do, round y'all. Okay. Anyway, I, so, uh, uh, we will. We will. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll uh, we'll do that, and we'll let you know if it's ready. Oh, look Ooh, at that number of subscribers! Now we're talking dollars. <laughs> DJ's eyes lit up on this glass. Oh, I was just seeing that eight eighty. Oh, oh, whoa! We don't. 
we can't make that much. Oh, that that's with your subscription. Okay, never mind. I was I was thinking, yeah, we have to charge all of our YouTube subscribers. <laughs> Honestly, uh, if we got, you know, if you get a few hundred people to give low amounts, that that shit works out fantastically. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what I had always said um, back when we first started doing live streams, way before the podcast. I'd always talked about like uh, even for TJ. TJ has what do you have like thirty four thousand subs or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I haven't even looked in fucking forever. I'm. I feel bad because I was trying to make a comeback and then I had twins. So yeah. Well, yeah. so but I remember even saying back then in like the skeptic fence days and stuff. Like if you really think about that, thirty four thousand subs. If if every sub just pitched in a dollar. Yo, that would be fantastic. Just, every every month, like how much he would, bro. If they uh-huh. threw in uh, fifty cents uh-huh. a month, that would be a uh, really good living. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. It, the fact is that people come. They pe- people come for free entertainment. Yeah. And very few people like you enough to actually give you money. So we're. I'm very grateful for the people that give us money, but I'm. I'm also grateful for the people that don't have any or whatever, and still come and support. The least you could do, is not like, you know, watch us for three hours every week and then not pay us any money and then down thumb the video or something. Like, yeah, go fuck yourself. You we know already what, got TJ, two on this I, fucking video. I I just want you to know, TJ, that I I would give you fifty cents. Drew, Dark matter. You already give me more than that. You already give me like two dollars and fifty cents every month. It was so Rob oh, Rubs in the chat. Good to see you, Rob. <sighs> yeah, I mean, th- well, think yeah, about that. Cer- to see all of you, and a big salute to all of our patrons. Cerny said three dollars for each sub is you know seventy five hundred bucks, which is like a crazy amount. I mean, when you think about it, like I say, dude, even fifty cents with TJ having over thirty thousand subs, dude, you're talking about fifteen grand taken in plus whatever the site takes off. Sure. That's I like mean that's it's a it's it's a nice I you know it's it's wishful thinking is what it, what it is. It's nice to think about but it's just not how the shit works. Sweet. Honestly, you get you get a few really awesome generous people who who like we appreciate the fuck out of and they like our um our generals alone make up like a good chunk of our, our Patreon. And there's only three of them. And I mean, we appreciate the fuck out of that. And uh, they're solid. For, for the record, Scope yeah. says that that subscribe star page takes like 15%. And he says that's worse than Patreon. I don't remember what Patreon took. Ah, fuck. Uh, yeah, Patreon, Patreon takes 10%. five. It, well, it's five it and then 5%. credit card fees. It's usually oh, yeah. to 10%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and uh, Streamlabs also does 10%. I mean, if, if you are looking for an alternative to Patreon, just do a Streamlabs like once a month of the amount uh, that you would like to support us and then hit me up like on Skype or on on uh, on Patreon or, or here or whatever and I will just message, like personally send you the link for the patron shows and shit like that. Like it's it's not overly complicated i'm not i'm don't feel like i'm going to be overwhelmed with people that i can't keep track of for that you just might have to remind me say hey what's the link and i'll be like oops here yeah watch so, stream anyway. lab start stream lab starts banning people next week yeah I, <laughs> that would be pretty dumb i mean they, they obviously <laughs> have no like direct involvement other than to allow like you just have to allow them to take over your your channel so that the alerts can come up and shit hmm. All right, um, and thank you very much for for the uh, streamlabs and, and super chats so far. We really do appreciate that. That shit really helps. We do more content. I have a twofer here on dark matter. Um, oh no! One I, I share with you on Twitter, dark matter. This is TJ. This is how dark matter spends his off days. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've seen this. It's fucking wonderful. This is what, why? Like, what? Cheers. 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 Saved. Saved by the Streamlabs. Thank God for PMS. Or, or That's actually. Yeah, it, well, it is Streamlabs notifying us. That's the us first time I ever got money from PMS. <laughs> it usually takes money. Thank you very much, PMS. And uh, welcome, welcome to the club. You're going to enjoy this, I promise. Never once thanked PMS in my life. Even though you've had it so often? Yeah, I guess so. (laughs) 
Who the fuck does this? Why? And I think originally the um, I think originally yeah. the 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 title for this going around Twitter was like uh, I bet I bet in twenty like me thirty years ago is like I bet in twenty eighteen we'll have flying cars. It's like meanwhile in twenty eighteen. Go back one. Go back one. This one right here. Now imagine him trying to explain to the ER surgeon why he has symmetrical stab wounds <laughs> on both legs. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, just just watch the video. <laughs> well, you see, I had this small addiction, but it just ballooned out of control. Oh my god! What? You have to have an inflated Jesus ego Christ. to make puns like. That. Oh come on! You Could just you have to have. Really you just have to be. Off? You just have to be sharp. <sighs> fucking airheads! I swear. Right, yo. This, this fucking guy. Oh, come on. You can get it with that fucking nightstand. <laughs> so is this like when the school shooter comes in, this is how you're going to have your desk? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I didn't even think about that. Every desk look, look, has look. blades. Yeah. <laughs> what is he fucking... What are you doing with your life, sir? I are wish you wearing I, that on your head? I wish... He's wearing it on his head. I wish I knew if this guy had a channel, because I'll guarantee this guy's huge on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, this is like fucking how to basic does like popping balloons. It's hilarious because it's like all those people that we used to say like, "What are you doing with your life?" They're like massive successes on fucking YouTube. Look at Dark Matter, for instance. Uh. <sighs> Looking at Dark, I just it? actually looked at Dark Matter, and it really let the air out. <laughs> how how would he explain this to the doctor if he like tripped on that thing on the ground and stabbed himself with a leg sir who stabbed you four different times dude but... if you get stabbed in the leg by a leg <laughs> that's a story to tell say like, no I had, I had a weird accident with my fucking knife desk that this is where you File a false police report. You were you were in a knife fight. And no, I, you no, guys aren't seeing the, the true story. There's there's some beauty to this. This is cutting edge furniture. Can, can we <laughs> what are can, you? Can we spend a second talking about how bald this man is? It seems <laughs> relevant. Yes. Is he? This is is this what bald guys do when they can't get laid? No. <laughs> Would you have all that free time? Just keep that in mind, ladies. You're gonna want to keep me late. So I don't. I don't do was the last like one just him getting up out of tin foil? <laughs> That's what I was looking. <laughs> like he has the strength to bend. He, he's bending metal, TJ. Yeah, like Asperger's or something. Should we not be laughing at him? <laughs> Fucking a. Oh yeah. Okay. This is uh. That that's a device. What a badass! Yeah, I. Uh, what the fuck? I thought Moby would be doing better in life. You know what I mean? After all those hits he had in the '90s and shit. This is what happens when Eminem disses you in his in his rap albums. This is what Moby did. He dropped techno and went to this. How the hell do we already have five dislikes? Who did you piss off, Dark Man? Oh, I, I said something about getting dislikes, and that just triggers people. Into, oh. into it. I bet you by the end it won't be as many. Or maybe it'll be more. I really don't care. You know, <laughs> we, I, we're not going to be dissuaded. Just, like YouTube and their their constant huge dislike ratios, we will not be dissuaded. Yeah, we will continue to do the exact... Yeah, your feedback means nothing. The real money talks, all right? Let's try when the edibles hit. Oh shit! That's no, no. This is a. It's an animation. You you wouldn't know because this is a realistic an animation. They actually exist. Ugh. Except for how his it's legs. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna freeze. By the way, that's a good Photoshop. I'm not gonna lie. That's a perfect one for my face. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, his legs the way they bend. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> In the very beginning, you could tell it's CGI, too, because the ball isn't touching anything. See? It's not touching his arms. It, it, it doesn't bounce when it hits the fucking ground on the rebound. Look, it just rolls. rolls. Yeah. <laughs> it's the ground and fucking rolls. 
No bounce to this ball. Bounces off the wall, not off the floor. Wait, his arms, too, they they bend funny. Yeah, it's like someone set this up, set the physics up so that they had um, ankles and, uh, like, elbows or whatever that would easily break or yeah. something. I don't know. It's not just rubbery bones. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, so cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll have to we'll have to uh, improve and get that four bucks back. Thanks. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, that's They're letting us down. No, actually, that's exactly what PMS does. It takes. It's, I'm it, cramping PMS's style. <laughs> we don't need your bloody pledge. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Just oh. Jake, I just looked, and now we have thirteen dislikes. Way to go, guys! <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Now, yeah. We still we we just don't care. But thank um, you. We had one more for dark matter. This is dark matter style of martial arts. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Spaghetti? Spaghetti. <laughs> my my question is what what the fuck is wrong with bald people? What is wrong with you people? This isn't the same guy. No, this is uh, well. It don't look like it's, it's the same. Gotta guy. be the same guy. It's gotta be no. There's no. All right, hold on. It's the same. It's the same fucking hold guy. On, we're gonna play on both. Gotta sides be. Also. We don't do stuff like this, Drew. Stop stereotyping. I love that he says it's gotta be. If it's not, you know what that means for you. We're gonna put on both side by side. Well, Oop. just go to a go to the portion in that video that you just pulled up, the first one. To where he shows the saw horses. Let's see if they're the same one. It's the same dude. Got his same shirt on. Yeah, same clothes. guy. Same saw horses. So this guy probably does have a channel. Why? Why do you have to use the saw horses? What do we all look alike? <laughs> huh? Pretty much. Saw horses have more variants than bald men. The, the, the video on the right looks like some sort of like fucked up bondage thing or something. <laughs> Find a good freeze frame on each of them so people can put dark matter face on it. Dude, what is the what the fuck is the point of that? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone says he's an artist, but I think he's an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes, you can break noodles with wood. Oh, is he is he using his noodle to break noodles? Is no, it wasn't. It but see, that would be hilarious. Not but he's not one. even. Yeah, he's not even using his head. The f <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. CM was walking past the computer. I she. Oh, okay. What, she walked what? past it and then stopped and then came back and looked back at this screen like You, you can't is... help. He he uh he's the kind of guy that's spaghetti your attention no matter what. Oh no That was terrible, no. it was bad. It sounded better in my no. head. Yeah, oh, yeah, give no. it, I deserve it. I deserve it. Spaghetting your attention. Yes, so Mo in the chat says this is new Jackass. Yeah, about to say Jackass season twenty three is really really looks like shit. They totally ran out of ideas. Oh Dude, yeah, what, what could that's go wrong? That's not smart. Let's put a fucking machete on a wheel. Yet another ER story. Oh, it broke. Is, is oh. that like toil? Now he's going back to the other video. See, same dude. What if? What if in the year? Oh, if there's more after that. I, I like that he's using hearing protection. At least he's being <laughs> you gotta, safe. You gotta be safe when you put a machete. Yeah. Oh. 
It's the only mm-hmm. kind of protection the sick guy only gets the opportunity to use. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he's not getting laid. Okay. Yeah. We we have to move on to something. Do oh we? God. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> that doesn't... What, what are you doing? What is that? A lot of knives. A, yeah. <laughs> he could have easily stabbed himself in the hand. Yeah. Oh, this could end badly. Yeah, kind of did a little. Jesus Christ! So, what if, what if in like the twenty fifth century, this guy is like seen as the new Da Vinci, <laughs> and we're sitting here making fun of him? As yeah. as well, that's movie. what they say. Like, true genius is not appreciated in its time. Yeah, it that's why a, you guys make fun of me so much. It takes a new generation of morons to look at some. Bro, you got like <laughs> seven hundred thousand subscribers. They, they uh, got, GL says that oh, this guy only has like eight hundred subs. Oh, good. Yeah. At least something still makes sense. <laughs> well, now that he's been on the podcast, so he'll be huge. <clears throat> All right. Um, how about this one? That's not Mosh. Question, question: Question: Were they meatball subs? Dude, I, I just go, took you out. That spaghetti? I just took you out. I don't want to be out. I'm not ready for freedom yet, Drew. I need, <laughs> I need, to, I need to assimilate back into the outside world. <laughs> he just looks at the guard and he's like, all right, man, your time's just, up. He, goes, he looks at him and goes, I'm, I'm not ready, dude. I'm, really I'm not ready. ready. Can I just assault you real quick? And get some extra it time. It happened. Drew finally institutionalized one of us. <laughs> well, dude, they, I'm like, you. like fucking cool hand Luke. They goddamn broke me. He's like, boy, Paul said go dig a ditch. <laughs> or dig a hole and <laughs> come back fucking six hours later. Like, what the fuck are you doing digging this? You fill in this goddamn hole. Six hours later, what the, I told you to dig a goddamn hole. Eventually, I got broke. I'm, y- yes, a boss. A yes, a boss, man. I'm trying to remember. But, every- I'm, what was it? Still shaking it, boss. Still shaking it, boss. I'm trying to remember everything I remember about Cool Hand Luke is him running from the hounds and using, like, spice. To get him off of his scent, uh, the the girl that's washing her car with the giant tits, and he eats Dude. all those eggs, right? Yeah, then he eat, like a I shitload of eggs. I could eat, eat fifty eggs. Yeah. <laughs> and his buddy's like yeah, taking bets and shit. And then he, afterwards, he's like, "Dude, why didn't you just say like thirty or forty? Why fifty? He's like, I think I could eat fifty eggs. And the next scene is him like, yeah, hard <laughs> eggs, and he's got a fucking big old distended gut. It's a great movie." He yeah, totally fucks with Boss Man for quite some time. Boss Man is not used to it. If you haven't seen Cool Hand Luke, check it out. Paul Newman's great. Because what you got here is a failure to communicate. Communicate. Correct. That's where that... If you've heard that quote and never seen that movie, now you know where the fuck it comes from. All right, check this out. That's not moshing. This is not how we <laughs> mosh, fl- folks. It's flailing. Okay, oh, you think that's ridiculous? Just wait. Oh, look, there's a woman up front, right? I think it's a woman. Mm-hmm. Probably shouldn't assume. Oh, kick oh! to the face. And now we're just it... going to just commit assault. And now we go back to we go back to moving, so it looks like we're, we're marching. What the fuck? All right, let's be, let's be honest. That guy doesn't care about the music at all. He just saw an opportunity to hit people. <laughs> Are we sure that's a woman? That's why I said it, it might not be. It might not be. Yeah, don't, don't assume, Drew. Don't assume it's gender. Moves like a woman. No, it's a dude. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Everybody gets a shot. Yeah, but these are the ones when you go to like an actual metal show and people mosh, they, they go out of their way to kick the shit out of these people. This is like I know, I hardcore. Do. This is like the hardcore. I know, I yeah, used well, people, to. I would... People get tired of that. Like when you're getting bumped and stuff, it's fine. But when you're getting like somebody just comes up and is just wailing on you. Like, everybody, nobody likes that. Everybody wants to have a good fucking time, and when you're moshing and shit, you don't want 
to just get bloodied in a fist fight. Absolutely. I, I've, I'll, I've said, told this story before, but like I've been to some serious like metal metal shows, Dying Fetus and shit like that. Fucking corn when, and disturbed. No, see, that's what I'm saying. It was corn and uh, stained was the most like brutal pits I've ever seen and it's because like they had no etiquette you go to like you I went and su watched like suffocation and shit like that is like <laughs> fucking absolute it's metal metal and when but when someone hits the floor like no one like the people try and help them up you know what I mean at corn and stained I was so lucky I was up in like the the stands a little bit I'm watching like people were dan like moshing on carpets of other people they were just like Mo like a, a twelve or fifteen people laying on the fucking ground, and nobody, everyone's just like stomping them. I was like, and they had like a line of fucking ambulances out there. I was like, that is, fu I can't believe the most brutal pit I've ever seen was. And I've been to Lamb of God concerts where they do the Wall of Death. Mm -hmm. You seen that? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh! Look up the yeah, the, pull, pull the pull chick the Wall of Death, the the chick one, the one where the chick, the, the guy's like, you better move. <laughs> the chick is just like standing there, not knowing what's going on, and the fuck. You know what the wall of death is, dark matter? Here we'll pull up. Yeah, the... yeah, 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 yeah. What is wall it? Wall of death. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here ah. we'll pull up a video of the wall of death. Yeah. All right. This is what the wall of death is. I mean, I haven't seen this video, but okay. So on stage, they're calling for it. They're calling for a wall of death. Yeah, they're they're basically saying everyone's split down the middle. Fast forward. Oh, here they're gonna, I guess, get going. Oh, some, some people brought a rope. It's limbo, dude. That's like a beach party. <laughs> it's a beach party, yeah. That's a lot of people. This is one of those. This is probably in Europe. America doesn't have cool festivals like this. I've seen yeah, better Wall of Death videos. Yeah. I can tell. This is his first one that comes out. The people standing in the middle are crazy. Mother motherfucker. Mother motherfucker. Mother motherfucker. Mother motherfucker. Mother 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 I've Dude. seen I've seen them like three times. The old school stuff, Stronger Than Death, nineteen nineteen Eternal, and Blessed Hell Ride. Those albums are fucking Blessed Hell Ride. Yes, good stuff. Yeah, I you're talking to fans. Anyway, um, yeah. So and thank you very much, Vince. Um, let's see what what happens here with this one. I've seen better though. The people in the middle are crazy. So it's just like it's just Braveheart. Yeah, pretty basically, much. yeah. That's that's the idea of like two sides just slamming into each other in do, the middle. Do a do type in Lamb of God, Wall of Death, or Wall Wall of Death, Lamb of God, because th they were known for doing some pretty crazy ones. Yeah, it's usually like the ones that I've seen that are really good are at like thrash shows. Oh Jesus! I don't know what the fuck this is. Do do people die in these fucking things? <laughs> I'm sure they have. Yeah, you play, you uh, in fact, the singer for Lamb of God was uh, imprisoned in yeah. Czechoslovakia for, uh, they said he threw a fan off the stage and cracked his head and died. Oh, wow. This band this... is called Dagobah. That's awesome. Dagobah. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty hardcore. That was like a fucking scene out of Braveheart. <laughs> well, it even did like the badass like uh, cinematography where it just yeah. follows it. <laughs> that that's pretty fucking wild. The people Movies. that go in in the beginning or stand in the middle are the fucking craziest. Ah. <sighs> Good shit. Anyway, Lamb of God, I know, did a really good one, but we don't have to play it. We get the idea. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not too shabby. 
Dude, I've I've gone. Uh, I used to have a, a shirt I wore to all the metal shows. It was the uh, like caution mosh pit, uh, like classic yellow, like ugly ass shirt. And I'd come out of there with fucking like footprints on there, and <laughs> shit. Like god damn, Some good good fucking shit. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff, crazy uh, shows for for where I live. Usually Orlando doesn't get the craziest stuff. Yeah, we're we're still in the first hour, so I gotta play something cute. Little oh. <laughs> they breed them with the short little legs. Yeah, we've we've what? actually been considering getting one of these. The, the girlfriend they're and fucking, I both want one. They're adorable, dude. Yeah, the only thing we've heard is uh, I've heard that they they might have like uh, a lot of like health issues. Of course, they fucking what? literally breed them strictly for the shortness of their legs. Why do human beings insist on making animals useless? <laughs> Because they're so a, goddamn cute. Is that a cat under my fucking sheet? <laughs> oh, I see, I see the lump. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta see if this is... Keanu, how'd you get under there? <laughs> how'd you get under there, kitty? It's like, oh, not this douchebag Dude, again. I it, came under here to get away from you. If it's suffocated, I'm gonna be really upset. Oh. No, he's... Dude... This this fucking cat. See him? <laughs> yeah. Little oh, fucking bugger. It's like I was How sleeping, you asshole. There? Yeah, I know. It's because it's cold. He's not used to the cold. He's like, oh, it's, fuck that. It's Florida cold. What is it? I know, but he's a it's... big old fat Florida cat. It's he 40. Has... Oh, actually, it's, what is it? 43 degrees right now. Look at the size of this pussy. <laughs> Nice. And you have its legs spread and you're rubbing it like a... <laughs> Jesus. I'm flicking the bean. He likes it. You sweet kitty. Oh, this cat is just fucking really adorable. Alright, go back. Alright, we played, we played... We played cute, so now I gotta play something not so cute. This video is called That Hat Didn't Help At All. To the sky, bro. Aim it to the sky. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> oh god damn it. Bro, let me tell you that those that size bottle rocket is where they start getting dangerous. I've burned my finger off. Like from here down, it was like a fourth degree burn from one a oh. little bit bigger than this. Yeah, he that he's gonna hurt. His lips and no inside of his nostrils are fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> So so it so so probably to do, happened. Do, do the Dragon Ball Z thing where you Photoshop the guy shooting a fucking blast right into his face. Oh, come you, on, you know what happened too is uh, the reflex of like him clenching his teeth probably you know kept it in there. Well, not don't. Oh God, Jesus! The thing has to. It literally launches by you know via propulsion. So yeah. it's going to blow that fucking heat out the fucking back end of it, which is what fucked me when I burned my finger. <laughs> like, you, I was trying to fucking, I picked it up off the ground after it fell over and tried to fucking chuck it. And as soon as I was letting go, the propulsion went and it literally melted and, and blew, like, my, my nail and everything was melted in the skin, drooping down. It was like a fourth degree burn. You could see exposed bone and there, shit. There's there's a joke in here about this being the Harvey Dent origin story that I can't believe. Oh. oh my god! Like this is his origin movie. This is what happens. Mm. It's like it's like a regular movie. It's like a rom com or something. But at the very end, he does this and turns bad. Damn, dude. Yeah, he's he the inside of his fucking nose, especially, dude. That is, that is unfortunate. I actually knew a kid in high school that did a flaming Dr Pepper shot without blowing up the pain, and when he took the shot, some of it spilled uh -huh. like down his chin and shit, and he had really severe burns on his neck and face, and had to explain to his pa we were like sixteen, maybe fifteen, living on a fucking army base, had to explain to his parents how he got the burns on his face. I was like, oh, it's just some 151 and Dr. Pepper, Mom. Yeah, the thing is, this this shit is not only permanent, it's on your face. Yeah. Dude, you're scarring your face That's, for life with this dumb are shit. Are you talking about the video, or are you talking to Dark Matter? 
Both. <laughs> okay. All right. Dude. And I love that he tips down the brim of his hat like that's. Dude, yeah, he's not understanding how how this how this works. <laughs> it actually probably got more of the shit onto his forehead, like trapped the shit underneath. As <sighs> dumb shit. Yep. I was burned on the fourth of July. All right. Well, We're <laughs> plastic surgeon's gonna be busy on the fourth of July. Anyway, all right, we're going to take a quick break. Um, we'll be right back. And then both magic phrases will be active. So uh, keep your control V fingers ready, guys. All right, we'll be right back.
All right. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Baldroom Blitz. Back in action. Gonna keep it going for you. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh. I, I was gonna slam him with one right away, but I figured I'd let you two talk a little bit first, and then. That's good because we don't normally do that. Seventy, you caught off guard. Oh, yeah. yeah oh yeah. Finally. Wait? I don't know. There's a capital L in there. Blitz. <laughs> Blitz. I'll take it. All right. Uh, so AP, which means Geo. <laughs> AP, which means GL. It's what it is. I'll send you a prize. Along with some of the other shit I'm sure I owe you already. <laughs> Billy, what the fuck is a phrase? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> There's two phrases tonight, Sir Philly. Yeah, double phrase. Do you still have a, another chance if I say um, uh, the good, the bad, and the... Uh huh? Or we'll see how many I caught there. Huh? Probably not too many. We'll see. GL says she needs to change her address. Well then, do that. You do that, or it's going to go to your shitty old roommates. <laughs> and their fucking family just had to move in, so you had to move out. And now you're living in a box in Santa Monica. A van down by the river. Mm -hmm. Eating a steady Indeed. diet and government cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Serdian's like, no one fell for it right after Philly did. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So congratulations. Uh, thank you again for your patronage. Change your fucking address, and I will make sure you get your prizes. I actually have something I'm going to put together here that I think is going to be fucking fantastic. Um, we'll, we'll, I'll give it away as a, a cool prize in the future, but I found this frame and I don't know if you can, the layout is close enough that I'm going to do, you know, me, Drew, Dark Matter, and then some of, some of our more, more famous, I was even thinking maybe of doing like Sophane and, and Pat here. And then doing some of our, our more famous photoshops in, in some of these spots. I think it's going to be fantastic. Flattering photoshops. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, like like our thumbnail and uh, your icon for tonight. Sure, absolutely. Only the best. You know, oh my god, I just had an epiphany. I just realized why you two constantly have to promote this idea of me being fucked up in photoshops you can't compete with the looks it subconsciously makes you able to feel like you can be at my level just fuck me up with photoshops okay there's another good uh there's another good streamlabs thing for you right there we yes. are an hour and 11 minutes in quote dark matter saying fuck me up with photoshops <laughs> fuck me up with photoshops well, okay, we'll do that. We will do that, sir. Well, not me, but they will do it. Uh-oh. That's, that on. That's the one from last week. Mm. You see? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Dude, it's not not our fault you have quad tit. All right. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that's a classic. That's it. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I am quite pleased that, uh, that you're not doing well. It seems like most people are. Most people are pretty happy. It's, except Steve. Uh, Beautiful. Good, good shit. Good stuff. All right. Now we've got one phrase out of the way, one to go, and of course another prize uh, to whoever's next in line. Let's just go straight into the fucking content. What do you say? Oh, and uh, reminder, Streamlabs is still open. I would love to hear more of what turns Dark Matter on, because I keep forgetting. Um, tech. So it's it's a motorized unicycle. Oh, I was... Oh, sorry. Sure. So oh yeah, I was just about just about to freaking get down with this 
funky jam. Pretty sure when they put those poles there, it means none, none of those fucking motorized things, no matter how many wheels they have. Yeah, that's a sidewalk. It's like I could only afford half of the motorcycle. So. That seems cool. Or, yeah, did it yeah. say... I haven't been reading. Did it say how fast it goes? No, I haven't not, seen not that Not fast yet. enough to not make you look gay while you ride it. <laughs> Electric power, that's cool. Speed up to 10 miles an hour. Oh my god. That's not even like a sprint. Have to bike twice the fun, bro. Uh, I'm surprised this is a Hygo video, not a Unilad video. Jesus Christ. The man has what? no shame, Dark Matter. None. None whatsoever. The thing is, the only way that it would be cool is if this was easy, like, uh, was remember, like, compact or something? Because if it only goes up to 10 miles an hour, you know, it's just kind of something you would just maybe ride on down the sidewalk, but you can't go really anywhere with this. Like, you can't take this with you. That's why you can ride it on the sidewalk, is because it's so fucking tame. Yeah. But but also, even, even then, like, when you park this, that thing has, like, a big-ass tire and still... I don't know, I just don't see it being very practical. Unlike the suitcase that will fucking drive you, you can just sit oh, yeah, yeah. Or Much more practical. I, every time I see someone on one of those, I think, winner. Definitely. They they have got this life thing figured the fuck out. This thing is awesome. This is a kinetic art table. And, like, it uses magnets and just draws fucking designs with this ball in the sand. It's fucking awesome. Why do I get the feeling like, does, like Carl Sagan is supposed to be the, Carl look, Sagan look is supposed shit. to be narrating this? Dude, that's fucking awesome. We How does it do on that? The shores of the cosmic it's got something underneath that's, that's uh, like a magnet underneath. But what's manipulating it? Something underneath. I don't fucking know. <laughs> You can tell that it's got fucking depth to it. It's not just a flat fucking table. There you go. You're choosing it on your goddamn Bluetooth. Oh, man, that's awesome. Let's be honest. Yeah, AJ, it's like for, a table. For, for me and you, it would just be a pentagram all the time. Oh, I, all, I seriously read that as syphilis. <laughs> Dude, I would be watching that thing for hours. That's fucking awesome. I love that. Somebody, somebody, buy me that immediately. It's probably, it's probably extremely expensive. Mm, okay, yeah. dark matter. You buy it for me then. You have money. That, that is really cool. Though. I'm gonna have to take the Lotus in next summer for oil change. I have to save and, up. And that's and that's when you'll get it for me. Okay. No, that's what I'm saving up for. it. Danny DeVito should narrate this. Absolutely, Steven. Mm -hmm. Or Snoop Dogg. Those are always fun. Yeah. Oh, we'll get, we will get Neil deGrasse Tyson, but isn't he like, in some shit right now? I don't know. They're saying something about, like, he was he, did he sexually assault or harass or something? Some kind of shit. Who knows? But by the way, TJ, um, I remember you liked. Um, Epic rap battles, and I just—I heard they just started up again. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I watched. Yeah. Uh, it was Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, nice. <laughs> is it any good? I didn't see. I didn't catch it yet. Uh, It's—I mean, I haven't watched them in forever. When 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 I used to like when I had first got introduced to them by by TJ, I like watched like a lot of them in a row. So I don't know. I, I guess but, I think it's more nostalgia for me at this point. Sure, but some of the classic ones are like really classic. The yeah. the fucking um, Bob Ross Einstein and... dude, Bob Ross the the Einstein versus Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hitler versus Darth Vader. Yeah. Um they had Napoleon Dynamite versus Napoleon Bonaparte. No, I was I was actually this is what this is what uh, made me want to go watch it is I was hearing that normally what they do in their seasons is they start off they've done Hitler versus Vader like three times already and it was supposed to be like what they usually start their season off with but they didn't do it this time 
and I don't know if it's true, but I heard it's because like YouTube will like instantly, like, hmm. like slam you if you do like a Hitler thing. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I was hearing. I, be I believe it. I fucking believe it. I've got a couple of Hitler cartoons, and they are, of course, demonetized. I have to check up on them. Uh oh, Robert says it's an eight hundred dollar table. Yeah, but dark I can't oh, get off. I can't plenty. get off unless a morbidly obese woman dressed like Mary Poppins steps on Twinkies while watching tentacle porn. I the first hour. How much bored the guy writing about the Photoshop is have? I missed all. The entire first hour, dubious. I yep, don't. I. Much. And then I he don't begged us to keep doing about them. Photoshop's. I stoically take it like a good sport. Sure. You. <laughs> one more Your thing wife certainly the, enjoys it. One more thing with the 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 Hitler and Nazi thing. The reason I first noticed that is there's this channel that I love. It's called Alternate History Hub. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Where it's like what would have happened or whatever. But even in then, when they cover like for instance, like what if Germany would have won World War Two, even in then, and like the figures they have on screen, they had to take out the swastikas and put in like a like a different symbol. For the Nazis, like the Iron Cross or something, and one of the things uh -huh. that the the creators had actually mentioned is because uh, YouTube will like instantly, like demonetize it, and uh, might even might even take it down just for doing uh -huh. it in like a fucking history related video. It's it's just crazy. It reminds me of like we want to teach you about Abraham Lincoln, but we don't want to talk about slavery. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, how the fuck are you going to talk about Abraham Lincoln? Like that's his legacy basically was, you know, yeah. Was it pushing the thirteenth uh, amendment? Four, four whores and seven beers ago. <laughs> All right, let's anyway. see. I I just want to clarify that no, that it's not. I'm not into obese chicks stepping on Twinkies while watching tentacle porn or whatever it is. I like conventional, attractive. Busty Missionary women style. with, I like breasts and asses and vaginas. Sticking through walls. No, <laughs> just normal, normal, consensual sexual activities with attractive, voluptuous women. Or one woman, uh, she's in case she can hear me. <laughs> Uh, ang angry hairpiece in the chat says that Call of Duty World War Two swapped the swastika with uh, the cross too. Now, if if they did that, I know um, Day of Defeat is a game that's on Steam, and I, I want to say it's free if I remember. But it's like an old game that I've, I would go back and play since I was in like high school. But and then like you play as the Allies or the Axis, and when you play as the Axis, it is an Iron Cross. It's not a swastika. But I don't think that was because of the push against like nazism or the resurgence of nazism or whatever but in these new games I'm, I'm like genuinely curious if it's because of that or if it's for another reason i because i would not doubt for a second like tj just said like he doesn't doubt that they that youtube would be acting that way or if like there's commercial pressures to take out swastikas but it seems completely bizarre to me that you would do that anyways but let alone when you're talking about something that's supposed to be like of the era of history if you're talking about actual Nazis in Germany in the 40s and the late 30s, and you can't show swastikas, that's insane. For a long time, you couldn't do that in Germany, right? That's that's been a, a law there. Yeah, I wonder if the imperial flag of China is, or China Japan, Japan. is still uh, still yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I, it's I don't know. It's fucking. I don't know. I bet the Japs don't complain as much. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Dark Matter 2525 not affiliated with the goddamn podcast. No, you, you see, you can we can say that Dark Matter because when you're hitting the Japs, you're punching up because they're you know they're kicking ass. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I'm not going to say. It. I was say I just wanted to I wanted to tell you that no. just to see if you would take a shot at the Japs. You no, the, the no, Jap, the Japs can Honda a joke. Anyway, next. Alright, uh, content, content. Um, cut that commute. Neat. Oh, I gotta park my car on that thing? Fuck. 
So this is like the new HOV lane or? or what? Yeah, no shit, it's a poor network connection. You know the, the way the way that people work, like all this like automated cars and, and all that shit. I really don't see that working, because even if you had like uh, like the automated cars and you have like five percent of the accidents with automated cars that you have with people driving, everybody's gonna focus on the fact that a machine driving the car led to those accidents. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least you can improve the fucking machines' like capabilities to drive because humans are just fucked and no, hopeless. Yeah, but I mean, but you like just the way people think. And like, honestly, I I can't really say that I would really be any different in those situations because when you have the machines in charge of something, you're like it's almost like everybody's just waiting for that to go bad. Sure, but I mean, like, mm -hmm. look at the amount of recalls we have on on our current vehicles already. Mm -hmm. It's all kinds of shit that's not safe and dangerous, and then they're constantly fucking up already. Um, nobody's uh, stopping driving over that. Yeah, well, I'm I actually that. just watched the uh, Adam ruins everything for cars or, or whatever. It was pretty fucking like the way that we've entirely built our cities around fucking yeah, uh, like car travel and shit like that. It's it's really ridiculous, and you don't have a choice. You know, yeah, I saw that. Or, yeah, it's it's pretty. It, I don't know, ridiculous. Yeah, there's a, you. You think about how it could be, like little self-sustaining communities like we could be apocalypse proof basically what do you mean oh, oh shit what is going on it's my connection can you still hear me yeah 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 we can hear you you guys sound robotic i can't understand you right now because of my fucking connection we can hear mm -hmm. you <laughs> See, well, Sarnia says, Drew, planes are mostly controlled by machines. Yeah, but how many people fly planes? I'm just talking about the way the way the human mind works. The human mind works goes, like, even if it's way more dangerous for me to be driving the car, I'm in control of the car. That's the way, like, I, I really think that's the way people, people see these things. And even if you showed, like, the stats of, like, the self-driving cars are like way the fuck safer than uh, people on the road driving their own vehicles people would still prefer to be behind the wheel of their car i think i don't know man i've, I've the commercials for the like alexa controlled sound bar for your tv or whatever mm. it's like it's like an infomercial are you too dumb to work your remote like how about you just speak it into existence like alexa turn the volume up <laughs> alexa turn the light on like we're, we're, we're moving in the direction of like just let technology do all the simple. You, you're too fucking lazy to turn up, flip a light switch, no. or or I fucking if... use your remote. The remote is too inconvenient. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I totally get you on that, but I, I just I don't see that. Maybe in the future, but just like that crossover phase, that crossover phase phase of giving that much control over something like driving. You know, if you're talking about you know, the remote, already makes it easy. Here's one thing that makes it even easier. Like, there's not a risk really here. But when somebody sees, like, the machine being in control of this giant fucking machine going 220 miles an hour, I think that's a little bit different than, like, no, I want to be the guy holding the wheel. I want to be the guy that controls my speed. I, I, I think that's a difference. I think we can, what was it, iRobot, where they, they have, like, at lower speeds you have control of the car and then at higher speeds it autopilots. Maybe something huh. like that. I don't know. Was it, wasn't that iRobot? I know it was I either iRobot had, had or... Cars, I, I think it was iRobot or... It had to be iRobot because it yeah. was not minor, Minority people Report. Might, people <laughs> might think of it of cars like a elevator, you know? Like, it just takes you from A to B. Yeah, that's what I'm saying in the future. I'm talking about, like, the crossover phase. Because everything, right. everybody that's alive right now that is, you know, our age or older... Uh, and even younger, everybody knows that the person behind the wheel is the person that is in charge of the car. Just that that the, whole the concept crossover of, yeah, it's it's just what I'm talking about. Really, is a crossover, yeah. The crossover phase will be the 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 dual function versions of you know, like you can do autopilot or manual. Or and I would trust a I would trust a goddamn 
like you know a, a original Mac computer to run a car rather than fucking these Florida drivers. Seriously, like there, there's no having to convince me. My insurance goes through the fucking roof every year, even though I don't get in an accident, because. Everyone in this area drives like complete morons, and they're fucking getting in accidents left and right. So everyone's rates goes up because it's a fucking like high risk area or some shit. Get the like, no, you don't have to convince me. In fact, make people not drive. Make people that like, okay, you get enough tickets, you have to use an automatic driving car. You're not even allowed to fucking control one of these things anymore. Enough accidents, yeah, yeah. Your only option is to fucking have like a Google car or some shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I had this conversation the other day that's about the same way that, uh, like, uh, what, what am I thinking of? The, like, property value. It works, like, the exact same way. Even if you do everything just fine, if you get a bunch of, like, trashy sons of bitches that cause a bunch of problems living down your street, the value of your house goes down. It's, like, completely out of your control. Mm -hmm. There's, like, not shit you can do about it. <laughs> In fact, I had heard, and also, like, a cost of living thing. I heard a joke about this. I think it was a joke. It's like living in a neighborhood. Uh, this dude was like living in a neighborhood where like the the value of the property is getting like higher and higher and shit like that. So every couple of months he goes out and just shoots off a few rounds from a shotgun to keep the the price down. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. If I if I'm interested in a house and the property values are too high in that area, I usually just commit a few murders. <laughs> I, just, I just kill a couple of people and then move into they, their house. They they take a nice little dip. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of construction because they had they yeah. have to have their own lane. You can't, you certainly can't have them weaving in and out of traffic at that speed. Hmm. I'm gonna try to. Uh, Bro, you know, you know how often file. if I was driving in the fast lane, I'd be like fucking flinging empty beer cans out of my window I don't try I don't drive and drink but you know uh, ice cream I would be tossing ice cream cones out my window trying to peg one of these things right on the windshield that going 200 miles an hour passing me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would be basking in the glow if I could get a direct shot some ice cream on someone's windshield <laughs> was that a dude Drew just took a like a it was like, like what are they a Lamaze class? No, just breathe. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit! I was gonna say a Kegels class, and I'm like, wait, that's not the right thing. Kegels. <laughs> Poor Drew. You could, I guess, be taking those breaths while you squeeze your butthole. I'm, I don't know of any other. I think that was all the tech. We do it's have fine. we do have broads playing with a catfish though. <laughs> and by the way, do we have to explain this to the Europeans about catfish? Do they have catfish over there? Yeah, catfish. You don't they. You don't play with them like this. You got to be careful with them. Yeah, they have. Catfish, and it seems weird to explain this, but catfish, at, at least here, they have their their back Ma fin is like, yeah, like it has like it a basically, big bone in it. Yeah, it's a big spike that comes up in the front of their dorsal fin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it will stab the shit out of you. There's a lot of people that'll. It's, yeah. it's like a nail almost. You got to be careful with them when you catch them because, like, while you're holding it, while it's flopping around in your fucking hand while you're trying to get the hook out, they can easily get fucked up by that thing. Oh my god, I can just <laughs> smell it. There's some kind of diseases that are going on. Look at this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking okay. my leg. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's right. The sides are too. Oh yeah. The two, the two side fins and the one on its back are. Well, like solid I think bone. it depends depends on the species actually, but whatever. Like the, this one definitely had it. Owie. <laughs> oh, she's not having fun anymore. Would you look at that? Is this an image you guys thought you would have had on your screens at uh, eight o'clock today? Mm-hmm. 
I think they all think they're getting catfished right now. Okay, now comes the joke. How many blondes does it take to get a catfish out of a girl's ass? Dude, this is a three and a half, like almost four minute video. Wait, this is really bad. Get that guy back down here. Alright. Hey, go get Brett. Go get him. I'm getting Brett. Uh, can we? Does it hurt? <laughs> don't pull out, don't pull out. Yeah, can you help us, please? No, you're not. Scene, it's gonna be fine. What's her name? Scene. Yeah, that's what I thought they said. Hold on. Scene, it's gonna be fine. We're getting bread. <laughs> her name's Sean, and her friends are just too retarded to Scene. fucking. <laughs> That's hilarious. Scene. This dude's just looking at her ass. He doesn't even care about the fish. He's just trying to get up close. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna be all right. Dude, that dude even has like that fucking shell necklace. That's why they asked him for help. It's like fucking <laughs> douchebagville on the fucking beach. No, I'm just kidding. This shit pulled straight out. I don't want to pull it. It won't? It's hard to pull it out. Like, it's like, yeah. like, it's like, <laughs> This <laughs> chick, though. This yeah, gang could get dead. fucking pussy. Uh, we just want to pull it out the right way. Yeah. I'm about to cry. He doesn't want to pull it out of her butt. Everyone's getting in for a nice close look. Will you pull it out? Will you find a way to... Dude, this almost reminds me of uh, on, on HBO last night. Something About Mary came on. Have you guys seen that? Oh, yeah. yeah. How fucking long has it been? I've, it's been like forever. But dude, when he like zips his zipper up. And then like all of a sudden like the cops are there. Then the fire department. They're going to need somebody that... I'll do it. Like they just oh, need to just do it. It's, like, it's, it's hard in there. Out. Like it's almost like the things are backwards in her. What did they call him again? They were like, we got a bleeder or something like that. <laughs> got a yeah. Yeah, David asked, wait, is this Florida? Well, that explains a lot. Uh, odds of this being Florida, pretty high. Yeah, is there like anybody if, out here? If, if, if you said, is this Florida or any other state? I would, I would probably say. Someone's just gotta yank it. Is it like 90% chance of being Florida? Someone give her a shot. Even, even my dad, like, I wish my dad was here because he pulls, he pulls something like that out. At least you got a story to tell, lady. All right, let me tell you about my fish story. Ever had a catfish in your ass? <laughs> Poke you right in your ass? Mm hmm. Damn. Yeah, I'm waiting okay. for the ambulance to show up and whisk her away. <laughs> no! That one was not that bad, Drew. I just wanted your reaction. <laughs> oh, they never get it out. The video's almost over. The hotel probably has like a first aid. Should I just go up there and see? <laughs> no. Get, do you have a first aid? Oh sure, yeah. How, how can we help you? What's the what's the matter? Can I just have the first aid kit? I'd rather not explain. <laughs> Christ. Uh. <laughs> That's, that is uh, the moral of the story, people. All right, let's don't. Don't slap your friend's ass with a fucking dead catfish. <laughs> um, who will get to the water first? It's a dad and his daughter. And it, uh, if I remember right, he he's making a bet with his daughter that he can get to the water before she does. Okay. I'm gonna get wiped up before you stab me. Okay. okay. She has like a knife or a fork or some shit, and he's gonna get to the water spot that he just poured before her. 
before he gets stabbed. Up, and you have to stab me before I wipe it up. You ready? Mm -hmm. Sure. You ready? Yeah, okay, you hit my hand. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> not bad i was waiting for someone to get stabbed in the hand see this podcast we, we keep you on your toes here yeah for real not bad i like the uh, the what's the other one where they do the trick where something's supposed to go in the water bottle oh and, you... and then you they look in the water bottle and you fucking just pop it and <laughs> Classic, good shit. I was watching some show called Death by Magic um, on Netflix or whatever the fuck it was on. The old lady had it on, and it was they had some some uh, they had one that I was like, oh, I should mention that. Oh, the guy is bald as shit. I'll tell you that. Look it up real quick. Death by Magic. Let me see that guy. Just so you can see, it almost looks like dark matter. If dark matter had like, remember when he had his beard? If it was just shorter. No, no, he's oh, not. He's, he God. looks like mastermind. The, yeah, the fucking thumbnail. He looks like he's trying to be David Blaine. Oh. <laughs> but let me get the. Oh yeah, let me get the full full head. So Do you have a, a headshot? Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, dude, he does look like Mega Man. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, that's <laughs> bullshit. That is totally you. No, with a it fucking isn't. Short beard. And my after, head isn't that ugly. My head looks nice. This is dark matter precisely after having to watch like 24 hours of the podcast straight. That's a good Photoshop, by the way, guys. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Netflix. Bald flicks. No clip. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, all right. Batman versus Sharks. <laughs> Holy Sardine! It's got. You see, its head is like totally like tied in the ladder. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Vincent. Is this the bat truck repellent? The shark repellent bat spray. Yes. <laughs> what are all? What are the different sprays? There was the first one was barracuda. 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 Whale. Whale, whale uh, manta ray and shark. <laughs> Why do you need manta ray repellent or whale repellent? They're fucking harmless. Not even bullshitting. I love these. Is that the shit. fucking bat copter? Oh yeah. yeah. Bruce Wayne couldn't afford anything better than that fucking hunk of shit. Robin, could you hurry it up? I've got a shark on my fucking leg. Hey, take it easy. This was stunt day. He was nervous. Dramatic. Do I have any dramatic unicycle? Just pointed out nobody is flying the helicopter. <laughs> It's on yeah. bat pilot. Bat yeah. pilot. Yeah. They they used half their damn budget to rent that helicopter. You go <laughs> easy on them. Real. Like it, it went up to the closest sightseeing helicopter place. Like how much uh, to <laughs> to let us borrow it for an hour and slap some bat shit on there. <laughs> You're not gonna do anything crazy, right? Nah. What do you think we're gonna do? Dangle a ladder from it and have him hanging from it while a shark is biting him on the leg or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they just use that in Jaws? <laughs> it does look like he exploded. I was just thinking Jaws, whenever it did like that that scene. Batman's like, smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah, that's an explosion. That's not just a shark hitting the water. Nice. And what was hilarious is... Uh, when Adam West died, they had like all those documentaries up, and uh, the dude I forget his name that played uh, Robin was talking because this is all like in like the early sixties. Ward, I think. Yeah, Bert I think that, I think that's it. 
But he was talking about all the stories about how, like, him and Adam used to go around and, like, it was, they're basically just, like, rock stars. And they just had, like, women on women on women on women on women on women. And it was, like, fucking crazy 60s stories. And then you see these Batman <laughs> movies and they're all, like, in a sense, like, uh, like everything is a moral lesson. Like, oh, oh Robin, don't hate <laughs> the drunkards. They're people, too. And, oh, God, okay, yeah. Hilarious. Don't hate the pool sharks. Just the regular ones. Uh, do you guys want to see a nice rack? I feel like I'm being conned. But I'll say yes. Yeah, sure. Give it to me. There you go. It's festive. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jesus I don't know. Christ, she's... you really rained on my parade, Drew. Is, is it only the male ant, uh, reindeer that that have the big antlers? Yeah, and these are fresh too. So. They still have that. Mm. Yeah, that is that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of points. How come sense. no one's trophy trophy hunting reindeer? <laughs> yeah, for real, this would look more impressive Monster. on your wall, really, than a white tail. And the jerky would you, probably be really you, good. You know damn well when you have the taxidermist do it. You're like, all right, make the nose red. <laughs> <laughs> I have a trash can here. I swear to God, I'm not just spitting in the corn. <laughs> spitting on the floor. Ugh. Still uh, getting over this shit. How much worse would a Rudolph be than an Adolf? I mean, think about it. Adolf was bad enough, but to be a Rudolph on top of it? Don't Whew. don't I have a Photoshop of you as Rudolph and the, Adolf the, together? The, it's the the uh, Reich deer. Reich deer. It was something like that. I was Rudolph the Red nosed Reich deer. Yeah. Hold on, I, I, dude, I'm gonna find that fucking Photoshop. I have it here somewhere. By the way, you guys might not realize this, but I, I just now came up with that joke right off the top of my head. You just you just thought you did, Dark Matter. Told you. <laughs> Rudolph the Hairless Jesus Reich. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There's swastikas on the show now. But they're backwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the algorithm... They're, they're catching on to shit like that. The fact that they they... That was just, yeah. Somebody took the time to do that, guys. They really made a fucking like right here. Right <laughs> it's awesome. I love America. All right. Let's try next. Is, is that the same store? Speaking my lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the. Seems like that's going to be a copyright for the music. <laughs> yes, it absolutely is. That's that's the fucking uh, Philly's favorite, Imagine Dragons. If you guys really like Philly, send him some Imagine Dragon stuff because he really loves them. So yeah, I've seen this before. Didn't we watch one of this with the the guy with the shoes? Mm -hmm. He like tries on the shoes and then runs the fuck out of the store and then runs right back. Look at how she fucking clears that. <laughs> and then she's like, da, 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 da. They, all, they all do the same thing. They all put their hand up to their head after it happens. I'm surprised she's got the balls to do pranks in China. Yeah, for real. China doesn't strike me as a place where you fuck around. Yeah. You see all of them do do like the same. It's like a thing? it's a it's a shame, cultural shame thing. Yeah, it's a shame that they had to like, fucking seppuku themselves after this. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm. That's Japan. Mm -hmm. It's a Japan. It's the way it works over there. That's the circle of life, right? That's that's just the chain can't be broken. All right, Drew. Suffered the humiliation. Oh. Yeah. 
So now you guys know how to rob a jewelry store. If you if you if you run and you're gonna make it, keep going. But if they're catching up to you, slide on over to the mirror real quick. Um. Oh, I'm supposed to play. I'm supposed to play epic music with this. So we'll have to find some. <laughs> Philly in the chat. Fucking imagine dragons. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Duck, duck. All right, hold on. I gotta find some epic music. Some Rocky. Yeah, some some knockoff Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> oh, dude, please find me, dude. Just do eight bit, eight bit uh, Eye of the Tiger. That should that should get it. <laughs> copyright free. That's fucking. I love eight bit shit yeah. so goddamn much. It makes everything so epic. Uh, and then, uh, but yeah, for real, he's just letting those those little jabs flow yeah. off his flow off his back like water. Mm -hmm. I was gonna tell you to pause it, but the cat's uh, already doing that. God damn it! Have we have I barred you yet? No, <laughs> you have not. I've I've gotten him old many times. It's about time, baby face. It's, Malone over there got some. <laughs> let's let's do the. Oh, keep your mitts off of mittens. Hey man, get this oven mitt out of my face, Zach. Get this oven mitt out of my face, Zach. I can do the string and the little laser pointer on the wall. I'll chase those all day, but I don't do oven mitts, man. Man, go on somewhere with this oven mitt, man. Man, quit playing around with the oven mitt, man. Oh, oh. Around with this oven mitt, man. I told you, man. I don't do oven mitts, man. I don't do oven mess. You having a good time, man. This ain't funny to me, man. Man, I'm so glad I'm doing the oven mess, man. Sick of this, man. Tired of you, man. Get this mitt out of my face. Now it's real now, player. You gonna feel all of this up on your face, man. Man, it ain't funny no more, is it? Yeah. I told you, man. I don't do oven mess, man. You keep playing around, man. I don't do oven mess. Dude, that cat is pissed. Pissed off. Dude, I'll I, never forget. Yeah. I had a cat named Chester when I was a kid. My mom was fucking like giving me the business. She was like yelling at me over some shit I did. She was like yelling at me with her finger in my face. And this fucking cat came out of nowhere. My cat. And just fucking like, like fucking clawed the shit out of her fucking like upper leg. And she was like, what the fuck? Like <laughs> out of nowhere. I was like, good, good cat. Good cat. Trained you well. <laughs> fucking A. I, I, like, I gotta tell you that I love cats, but if it starts like doing that claw on the leg thing, I'm punting the shit out of that fucking cat. I think it's funny all the time, man. Your little friend over there holding the camera, giggling, man. This shit ain't no game now. It's real. I told you I don't do oven miss, man. You always playing, man. You don't know when to stop. I'm tired of this, man. Where you going, man? I'm, I'm just getting started, Zach. Oh, did it <laughs> yeah, he fucking out the window. He's chasing his ass down. Tired of this, man. Where you going, man? I'm just getting started, Zach. Jesus. Holy shit, that cat is pissed. <laughs> oh, good shit. Love it. I don't that do cat made that, that cat made a feline straight for that dude. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can we... I know we don't have a lot of rules in this podcast, but we, can we put in a clause where you know, uh, are better <laughs> make any jokes like that anymore? Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. We we don't have the history for that, TJ. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, you win. Next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> 
Okay, so if we're scratching the puns, let's go with this. This is uh, <laughs> the best pastor. Says that that day is going to come <laughs> when the sky is cracked and Jesus Christ oh, comes what, again. I, and dude, they're, to drop him. they're stealing their stick from wrestling. They oh down from the rafters. It's Pastor Vuggan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see him when he comes in. So here. You know what's hilarious is like how many people in that congregation went home and told all their friends that the pastor flew around the auditorium during the sermon. Yeah. yeah. I have a question for you this morning, brothers and sisters. The simple question is this right here. Are you ready? Are you ready for his return? Amen. <laughs> all right, amen. <laughs> Are you ready for his return? Brothers and sisters, are you to just stop putting shit in that tithes bowl? Because this is what he's spending it on. Yeah, it's like at this point we can afford to like mm. have you fucking lift it out of the rafters or descend Remind, out of the rafters. Reminds me entirely too much of like Jesus from Family Guy with the over exaggerated miracles. Na, 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 na. <laughs> How, did we play that last time i think we did yeah but that, this is what it reminds me of holy shit is every one of those fucking guys bald on that stage oh my god it's like a jesus yes. family guy compilation yeah there it oh. is <laughs> You know what I would name those three? The good, the bad, and the bald. The baldy. The good, the bad, and the baldy. That's what I would name oh, those three you dudes. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Cause I, sorry about that, Drew. You were busy with that video. Mm -hmm. Cernian. Cernian, yeah. Alright, Cernian. I will pick you out a prize. Jesus, Pumpkin. Direction. Pumpkin's getting greedy. He wants it all. Of course. He tried. Congratulations, him. I'll pick something out and send it your direction. Will it be something good? Will it be a coat hanger? Only time will tell. Jesus I actually have this like half finished half finished uh, it's a casket box and it was originally going to be can you tell who that was going to be? Hold on. Yeah, uh, Gus? Yep. Gus Fring. Yeah, it's a nice little like coffin box. Nice. Gonna send, yeah, yeah. Maybe send it to Peachy so she can finish it off. She's got some Painting skills. All right, let's see Jesus's over exaggerated, over exaggerated miracles. Yeah, that's probably enough for a copyright. Yep. <laughs> but if it's not, oh, he's got two rings. Did you mm -hmm. look at that? Oh, you get that? Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa! Nice. Yeah, Good. amazed. Yeah. Why are they all wearing bathrobes? <laughs> That's how they dressed back then, Dark Matter. <laughs> Just throw them all in bathrobes. Huey, do even Huey though they never here. took baths, they all wore bathrobes. <laughs> how ironic! Mm -hmm. Now that's <sighs> ironic, I Alanis Morissette. I wonder who floated this idea to him. And oh, Jesus Christ! I, what? I'm just saying, they must have strung him along pretty good. What? You can't suspend you can't just... your jokes for one second. No, I can't. I just got to drop them as they come. No, you're above puns like that. I don't you know, know if I am. I'm afraid not. Well, lift yourself above those puns. Mm -hmm. We're moving forward. Even my afraid not is, is uh, above...
some of the some of your okay we've hit the ceiling <laughs> yeah i was about to say let's just move move along move along now all right one more before break uh mirror fail you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that guy's not laughing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Look at his hair. Look at that. Yeah. Both hair. of them. I wonder why I'm bald. Both of them. All of them. Yeah, yeah. all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fucking mushroom. Jeez. I've seen them. I've seen them do this shit before. I've also seen the, the um, it's like two guys and they act like they're carrying a pane of glass or something like that, but there's nothing there, and they just act like they're carrying something. And as they're walking, people will go like around them, even though they're not actually carrying anything. I've seen that done before. Uh, Pretty on, amazing. Honestly, his shit. reaction, his reaction makes it. <laughs> He's yeah. he's actually pissed. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? God and, damn, and stupid ass. The camera had to cut off before like the fist fight broke out because this dude is not happy about it at all. And then like how would he try to justify the fist fight to the cops? He'd be like, He was washing the mirror that wasn't there and, and I touched tried to touch it and <laughs> like <laughs> Uh, good shit, I love it. All right. Anyway, uh, we'll we'll take our our second break now. We've gotten both of the magic phrases out of the way in the second hour, which is shit. I think, well, it's definitely the first time we've had two of them, but it's been the first time we've done it in the second hour, even in a while. So, but I will be giving away something else as soon as we come back from this break, and of course, the infamous third hour still ahead. So, stay tuned, guys.
back for the third uh, and final hour. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite. The third hour. I'm, uh, waiting for Patreon to load so we can... We can just move right along if you would prefer until that comes up. A reminder, last reminder, that Streamlabs is, of course, still open. If you would like to hear what turns Dark Matter on a couple more times, you know, that's fine with us. Or any of the other Streamlabs options, quite honestly. There's a bunch of wonderful ones. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try... We're in the third hour here. Let's try this. I don't condone violence, but he pretty much asked for that. Move on! I can't do this in front of my kids. Are you Can mental? Please, please. Take your shit and move on right now. Oh, we're in England. Right. Crikey. What are you doing, man? My kids are here. Don't touch me. I haven't touched you. Don't touch me. Hello? Move away from my house, please. Move away yeah, from my house. My children are here. Why would you take off please your please shirt please. if you're a pasty, like, ugly, breast-having, love-handle-having, short yeah, but look! Look at those traps, though, bro. He's like bowing up, like he's flexing well, right the, now. Well, the way that he he's, moves makes me think he's drunk, but I'm not entirely sure. But this guy apparently he said my property, so he's I, got. I'm assuming this is his house. He's got drunk muscles and air lats. Oh, well, we just sorry, we just got a a Photoshop our first of the night. Whoa. Is that? Whoa. This is not. That almost looks like Paul. Yeah, Paul had a <laughs> shaved head. Yeah, but it's not. It's Dark Matter with a fucking beard. Ew. Ew. Very well done. Who's that from? Um. I'm sorry. Who, who was this from? Uh, Ryan. Yeah, it's <sighs> Alright, let me see who's next here in line. Just Alright, so... It's gonna be... Uh, next in line is... Super Saiyan 900. I'm guessing there wasn't another... Space for you to make it 9,000. Alright, let's see. 2, 4, 6... 8, 10, uh, so 13 characters. Dark Matter is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Nope, 14 characters. You could have fit the 9,000 in there. Maybe someone already had it. Well, you are the next winner from, uh, what is that? Uh, M.O. Montana? Mon no. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that'd Montana. Be Montana wouldn't it? Okay, yeah. Anyway, you are the winner. Thank you very much. Last week's winner, uh, I thought it was GL. But uh, I believe she was already, um, or I already have something uh, packaged up for her. So Cream Ghost was also a winner. So congratulations to you guys. That's Cream Ghost from Oregon. So thank you very much, guys. Sweet. And you guys will be getting something in the mail. Was that from me? Cream Ghost. Cream Ghost. That's right. Okay. Cream Ghost. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Cream Ghost. Mm -hmm. And thank you again to all of our patrons. We salute the fuck out of you guys. Really do love you. Now all let's, right, so let's watch some Brits get get uh, get a fight. There's a man who can pass that house, house now. And the police are coming. Stop. Stop. You're on camera as well. And now so he's now fighting my stop. husband. Stop. And he's taking his clothes to WD232GB33 Hearts and Clothes. Take your stuff and go. You're in front of my children. Just take your stuff and go. 2GB no 2GB33 Hearts and Clothes. Take your stuff and go. Take your stuff and go. Take your your stuff and go. Move on. He's telling me he's trying to leave for football with my children. 
I can't do this in front of my children, 33. man. Stop. What are you doing? Right, right. Just take your stuff and go, man. No. No, 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 no. Nicky Jones. Just take your stuff and go. I'm asking you. Please take your stuff and go. This man, he's got no, really no, short feet over at my hand. Hand. He's got a goatee. No, no, and he's really drunk. You can do it from there. Not on my mind. No, 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 no. Listen to me. He's had a short sleeve shirt. You're in front of my house with my children. He's taking the shirt off. He's got black gloves on and he's got a guitar. He's got more patience than I. I would have fucking uppercutted this dude a while ago. Yeah, because uh, yeah. this this isn't like at a bar or something. Apparently, this is no. like at this dude's house. So I think just move away, away from my property. Right? Right? And he's now no, move away from my. You're on my property. You're on film. You're on camera. Move away from my property. You're drunk, man. Why? Thank what you. are you doing in front of my I'm, children? I'm, I'm Stop. Take nice. your guitar. You've got your guitar. Get off my property. Move away from my property. There's no mate. No one's trying to piss you off. You're no, coming to no, my house no. in front of my kids, I'm behaving nice. like you're not being fucking nice. You've got your shirt off. Go away from Move my away house from now. My property. You've got my fucking gate. You're in front of my children. Just move away from my property. For fuck's sake. Move away from his property. Oh. Boom. You got it right there. Here, let's go back just a bit. Fuck! <laughs> we're right crossing our old ass out. Cunts! I fucking warned you! <laughs> uh, hold on, Drew. Let me find. I, I gotta send you a link, because I got one that's, like, absolutely. Uh, that was one hit. That I saw it today. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at, he, look at he the way his, his, he his head bounces. Yeah. Yep. He's done. Done for. I fucking warned you! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking warned you. Oh, why does my computer always choose to do this when I'm having a? I think it's only when I'm when you're sharing video. Yeah. Yep. And that guy was even wearing his protective talisman. See, <laughs> around his neck. Yeah. Well, this man has to learn that protection <laughs> spells don't work in the real world. <laughs> you know. Oh fucking. Oh. Right hook. Yeah. But like the video's called, I don't get on violence. The goddamn, that was like two minutes of negotiating. Yeah, he was trying to coach the guy down from the wow from the fence there. <laughs> I mean, you could you could tell that he he was on the fence about whether or not he was hit the guy, but <sighs> he was trying to be patient. But eventually, the you know floodgates just open. And you just. Yeah. Curious asking if that was a fist or a no ball. I think it was a fist. It was too. Here, I'm doing this through yeah. my phone. Oh, it's just fuck, easier sorry. that way. Yeah, I think it was just a, a really sneaky. Pass. He a good way to throw a, a close hook too is if you miss with the hook, then you can catch him with the elbow. Follow through with the elbow. Yeah. Listen to you, shady fucks. <laughs> Dude, that's that's absolute. I I've also been known to if you throw a right cross, you come right back with the fucking elbow. Good thing to do is like dip your hands in sand before you <laughs> and fight. They, so if you hit them in the eye, the, yeah. was it was it Zoolander or somebody had like fucking pocket sand, like <laughs> pocket sand uh, <laughs> in their fucking eyes. What was it? it? Wasn't Zoolander? What was it? I can't remember what the fuck it was. Good shit though. But uh, yeah, I. I like to use, uh, like, my personal favorite move is someone right in your face. Use your height and just do a, like, quick step towards them with one leg behind, like, their, both of their legs. And then just come across with the, with the arm across their, like, right below their neck and everything. You can't keep standing up. And then next thing you know, they're laying right in front of you. That's only if they get close, real close. If they're standing at a distance, that doesn't work. Someone's right in your face, like chest to chest, talking shit. That's a perfect little move. You pop them twice, and you ask them if they want to keep going. And in my experience, they don't want to keep going. Let's see if it'll let me download this video you sent. It's it's too big to to show the whole thing. What? Okay, hold hold on. All right, now it's gonna let me download it. Hold on. This is this is this is a uh, kind of like what we just watched, just a lot more brutal. Oh Jesus! So this dude, it's 
basically trying to rob somebody, and he chose the wrong dude. Let's let it download. <clears throat> this the video is called "When You Want to Rob Bad Man." <laughs> Someone not want to do good with the grammar. Mm. When you want to rob the bad man. Oh, it's even worse than I thought. <laughs> yeah, when when you want to rob bad. I, I imagine he was named after the city he was born in. Yep, so. that's what I was just about to say. Fits it fits. <sighs> if the flip flop fits, <laughs> you must have quits. <laughs> All right. Uh, here, hold on. I just saved it in here. It might be. This is brutal. This is one of the most brutal, like, instant karmas I've ever seen in my life. And the best part is what he does, like, halfway through. Sort of my name. It's it's under W for when W E N. No, I saved it. I saved it as TJ's video. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right. So. This dude right here is going to try and rob this dude about to come into frame right here. Pulls out his gun. Oh, oh. Pop, pop. What? What? And then you get. Bah. So, wait, 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 so. Now, now. Oh, yeah, he's out. One, he's out. Two, three, four, five. Then he pulls out his fucking phone and records himself. Beating the <laughs> shit out of this fucking dude that just tried to rob him. Yeah, as, as far as I'm concerned, at that point, you could curb stomp, and I really wouldn't care too yeah. much. But so the guy in the white had a gun. Yeah, he's about to pick it up right here. He fucking robs dude after he tried to rob him. There it is. And he's Video recording him. <laughs> Go nine nine. Go nine nine. Yeah, that's exactly what that man needed. Well, now he'll get Bro, hit by I'd, a car. I had to stomp his fingers while he was out too, so he could woke up with a fucking bunch of broken ass fingers. Try I'm, pulling a trigger again, douchebag. Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining now he gets hit by a car from some asshole that doesn't see him. <laughs> Everyone's counting along in the chat. Seven, seven kicks. Eight, nine. It's a lot, and it's like. Dude. Kicks to comes the face. straight at him, not intimidated at all. Like, pulls out the gun, and he's like, "Oh, oh, is that so pop?" Dumb. Bam. Bam. He's kind of fighting over it, like yeah. right, and then he gets this one, pop, all over. No, it's not. One, two, two, three, three, four, four five. Ah. What? Let me record this. Periscope. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Periscope. <laughs> Facebook Live. God damn it, dude. Seven. Seven. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm going to take your gun, oh, that's, too. That's, on the, that's probably a shitty high point, but I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. You want to you try that uh, again? Yeah. Do you Punk? like that? You want one more? Or is, uh, is eight? Eight. How about one more? We do For the road. Nine. Oh, that is brutal. <laughs> do you see how he actually shows it sideways? He's like, no, I got your fucking gun, dumbass. Show, yeah, he's showing it on the fucking yeah. video he's taking with his phone. That is... And then just... Doop, 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 doop. Piece yeah. of shit. You got off light. The only thing I can say in the, that man's defense is this dude in the white did not want to shoot him. Because he, no. had, he had ample opportunity to be blasting off around. From too. what I can tell, I mean, there's no sound, so he might have been shooting right here. Yeah. But I, he might have been. Nah, he looks like he's punching him. I, I'm telling you, I, I think you would see muzzle flash, but the way that he's... Throwing that gun hand up is like he's trying to hit him with it. Nah, he, he wants what a lot of them want is a what it looks like is just easy, an easy target. Score. That's that's dude. I, there's there are channels dedicated to that like armed assailants, and as sure. soon as they see conflict, they're like they're done. Yeah, they're I like, saw one with a guy with a spatula. It was <laughs> it was brutal. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> So uh, what, what did we count? Did we count nine? It was nine. Nine, nine kicks nine. after the freaking knockout punch. Dude was out nine, before he hit the ground. Nine kicks to get to the center of a mugger. Yeah. 
He definitely got to the center of that fucking Tootsie Pop. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, oh, oh, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> one more time, please. Just one more. I'll tell you what, I, I would love to see if anybody can find when the holidays are over, or it's, it's around that time of year. There's a bunch of the shit on the news about these guys. We've played videos before of where they go up to your your doorstep and steal your packages now that it's like oh, holiday God. season. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that that shit has been all over the news. So if anybody finds any new videos of anybody getting like fucking ghosted by a homeowner, or uh, have a dog sicked on them or something like that, I would I would love to see it. My wife just got a vacuum and shipped to the house today, and it came in like the the box with the picture of the vacuum on it and everything. It wasn't like a plain box, and they just set it by the door. Didn't ring the bell or anything. I was home today. And it was just sitting out there all day. I didn't even know it was coming. I had a eBay uh, purchase a long time ago where I bought a TV um, on eBay. And they fucking had it. I mean, eBay didn't deliver it. The people I bought it from via eBay had it shipped in the fucking original box. So it was like, oh, it's a you know 32-inch Toshiba or whatever. And then left it on my doorstep like in the rain. And oh, I, ha- I just happened to fucking come home like 10 minutes after they had delivered it. And got it before it was like damaged from the rain or anything or stolen, but I left them a neutral feedback, and they're like, "Okay, TV's great, but I mean, for what I paid, ha- pay the extra dollar for a fucking signature, you know what I mean? So that you know it gets to the like it's delivered." And they actually contacted me and offered me twenty bucks to change my neutral feedback to positive, and I told them make it 25 <laughs> awesome. i shit you not the guy laughed on the other end of the phone and they fucking refunded me 25 bucks that's, to change my feedback that's badass no I, i've noticed <laughs> that uh like i get i live in an apartment complex and when shit comes here the stuff that i don't pay a lot for if it doesn't fit in my little like mailbox they put it in the front office but if i order a gibson les paul like i'm looking at across the room over here they leave it on the porch this is like a <laughs> this is like a 1300 dollars guitar They'll, they'll leave it on the porch. Like, luckily I live upstairs, so it's not as easy to see. They'll leave that shit on the porch. Every guitar I've ever ordered since I've lived here, they've just, like, left on the porch. But if I order, like, fucking uh, enough guitar strings that it can't fit in the mailbox, they, like, leave it in the front office and have them sign for it. And, like, then the office calls me. It's like, by the way, this is here. We're holding it for you until you get here. It's it's in safekeeping. Yeah. It's, like, in the safe. Don't worry. The str- You're fucking... <laughs> you're goddamn... <laughs> your My Ernie screen. Balls, your fucking Ernie Balls are safe, but your Gibson is out there, just in the elements and shit. I got like okay. a fucking Gibson Fifty Nine Custom sitting out on my porch, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like ready. Like, and I'm I'm constantly like I'm I'm at work. I know it's supposed to be delivered today, and I've had guitars come in the past that were like cheaper. But still, like, I don't want to lose. I don't want to, like, lose out on the money I'm paying. Dude, are you shitting me? But I, I fucking get... ordered, like, a $200 base one time, and I was shitting a brick over that shit. But then, I, like, I'm, I'm looking on, on eBay. You know how the tracking goes, and it's like, has it been delivered or whatever? But usually that doesn't even tell you for, like, a couple of hours once it's been delivered. You actually have to, like, follow the actual tracking number. Yeah. Before. The, the email update you get from eBay is delayed. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like doing all that, and I'm just like, oh, God, tell me they left it in the office because I'm not home, I'm at work. And then, like, if I find out, like, I'll even hold my lunch break until, like, when it's going to be around that time because I'm like, dude, a fucking, like, $1,300 guitar, if they get stolen from me on my front porch. I, I almost, uh, like, choked out a fucking Amazon, dude, a few days ago. I was watching the Twins by myself, and I just got one to sleep, and I just about had the other one to sleep, and he, no, no, didn't knock on the door. Like, beat on it like it was the fucking... SWAT team, for and then let and then like dropped an envelope on my fucking doormat, and fucking scooted off, and I almost chased him out if I wasn't fucking holding a kid. <laughs> I was like, dude, I mean, honestly, like, boom, 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 like, dude, you're fucking delivering like, most likely some kind of, uh, you know gore makeup prosthetics kit that my girlfriend's going to use to fucking teach her she because she teaches special effects makeup classes hmm. probably something like that because she orders them to test them out to see if they're worth ordering in bulk and you know using for her classes but yeah fuck it's not that important bro if it was like my insulin and i'm on like day six of no <laughs> insulin you know and i'm like you know fucking sure alert me 
Otherwise, <laughs> stop stop doing that. All right. Um, we have a a couple, two, maybe three videos of this shit that's been going on in France. Have you guys followed like any of this at all? Sure. Yeah, you know, there's like a, a little bit. This, yeah, a uh, little this, bit. This last weekend was like the fourth weekend of like the protests and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, the first one we have is of Macron getting egged. Okay, so uh, the way people jump on him to protect him from that, dude. Egg. The way that that Secret Service guy scrambled. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was over easy to make that fun. <laughs> oh come on, man. Yeah. <sighs> and he looks pissed about it. He has a thin shell. Oh come on, you you're not. In order to make a good pun, you have to fry really hard. You can't just like just let it, you know. Tell a yoke and hope that it lands. It's oh. not the way it goes. Oh, what? It's gonna be all white, Drew. <laughs> uh. TJ, that is incredibly racist. Well, I meant like you know egg whites, bro. No, sure you did. Sure you did. I did. You know what? I'm gonna even it out. It's gonna be all black, everyone. Now I fixed it. Would, did we hit a dozen egg jokes yet, or no? <laughs> All right, so we have we have that one. This one's supposedly uh, this is school kids in France. They were protesting and they were held at gunpoint by the riot cops. School kids. Like this is right outside of a school is what I was. Voilà une classe qui se tient sage. Is this a high school? I don't know if that means school or university. This morning we were watching uh, the girlfriend and I. She was pulling up on Snapchat and we were watching um, uh, basically like live feed of like the college students or whatever protesting because t tuition fees. We're supposed to be raised or something like that in france i know that the main thing was over uh gas prices right they raised the uh, mccarthy yeah. was raising the taxes on oil and gas yeah and, made of like five six bucks or something like that yeah a gallon yeah and they had enough of that He's from, like, from what like how much of, how much of an increase is that I, no I don't know. I don't even know the I, numbers. It was enough to would, get enough of them pissed, though. They're apparently. they're a fuck of a lot closer to like Saudi Arabia and shit than we are. How, how are they not getting? Yeah. Well, they want to dis. They're they're doing it as a, a negative reinforcement to get people off of uh, oils and stuff. But yeah. uh, I mean that that's that's all good. And, you know, well and good and stuff. But the way to do it is not to uh, like break people's bank. You have to give them better alternatives, not just. Well, they think that maybe positive reinforcement would would be good. You know, like incentives for you know using electric vehicles and shit like that. Sure, but I mean, if if you're given good alternatives, then fine. It's like um, it, making cigarettes uh, twelve bucks a pack does not. It might get some people so they can't really afford cigarettes or whatever, but it doesn't get people necessarily to stop smoking. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not like. Actually, you know, what it, you know what it, you know what it really does. It it creates an incentive to bootleg cigarettes, almost like what you got in the uh, what was the dude uh, the fucking choked out the I can't breathe guy, Eric Garner. Garner, yeah. Garner, Garner. That, that's really what you get is he goes down to some other place or he gets his source from another place to start bootlegging cigarettes because New York State has, especially New York City, has put like retarded taxes where cigarettes are like ten dollars a pack. Whereas in the neighboring states, they're like five, six dollars a pack. I, I'm one of the few people that like I, I'm constantly pointing out because uh, around here I, there's a lot of conservatives and they're constantly bitching about the state of the like schools and and like I had to get my you know you have to send your kid to school the first day with like printer paper for for the teacher because they don't have any fucking supplies or whatever and they're getting pissed off about that. But I'm like, what do you think is going to happen when they just cut taxes, cut taxes? No, nobody wants to. Like, and again, I'm I'm the 
person that's saying don't just blindly raise taxes. I, I think that reallocating, we could even cut taxes and just re reallocate them better, like sp use those tax dollars better um, for like the citizens or whatever. I think we could do that like no sweat. Um, and that would probably come about naturally if you just took money out of fucking politics. But uh, like just what, what do you know how much the gas was there before? Did it go up like two dollars a gallon or something drastic? I don't think it was at that. I want to. I, I don't know, but I want to say that in Europe, it, well, everything's more expensive in Europe. Sure, but and I, they buy I it by the leader. That, so. that that would be, but also, uh, it, I don't know. I've, I've never been, but my understanding was like in Europe and stuff. There's a lot less like people. Well, there's a lot less people in these countries, but there's less people like driving. There's more like community. Uh, Busting. Uh, pumpkin so, saying it, it went up like 50% pumpkin saying. Ouch. Yeah, that's okay, a lot. so yeah, that's a huge increase and I would understand people's uh, frustration with that. The, the thing is that like if you have a certain job or like need to get to a certain place, especially on a regular basis, sometimes a vehicle is the best way to do it. And like Dark Matter and I were talking about with that Adam Ruins Everything, the way that a lot of cities are set up, unless they have a really good public transport, which a lot of Europe does, but that doesn't mean you don't need to necessarily like drive and that would you know if you're already hurting and then i mean especially can you imagine the like delivery you know like their their truck lines and stuff like that like yeah, the, the amount of dude the amount of like delivery uh that uses vehicle that would be like massively hurt by that it just be be sensible you don't need to fucking raise it that, and that much but that cost would transfer onto the consumer. So even if you don't drive, but you just receive deliveries, absolutely, they make up the cost somewhere. That's that's one of the things that is a big problem. Even with like a, a lot of like the, like the the climate change stuff, as far as like proposed policies go, a lot of oh, that, you mean like a like a green tax and shit, dude. Like uh, dude, or carbon a, tax. A lot of that stuff, like dude, you're talking about. I mean, uh, it honestly, I'll say this. I mean, a lot of people talk shit about the French, but at least they had the balls. They are having the balls to revolt over crazy taxes on shit that's really affecting them, the average person. Like if it got here, if it happened here to like that extent or whatever with uh, Trump tariffs or whatever is, the fuck it is. Wait, I'm confused. Is this the protest or have they been subdued? No, and, and here, no, no, no. The the protests are like the what they're calling the yellow jackets. They all wear the you know those reflective yellow vest things. Okay, so so what's happening here? This is where the they, cops already have them all down. Supposedly, this is... Uh, uh, I was about to say, things. even if the French's way of protesting is to surrender, Jesus Christ. What is this, World <laughs> War II? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I, again, you can't be, like, overly drastic. And, and don't be... Oh, God, the, the shit, like, like in New York, where, uh, who was it, Bloomberg was trying mm -hmm. to make it, like, 22-ounce soda was the biggest you'd get, or some shit like that. And they ban, um, like, the larger mm -hmm. sodas. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's fucking that's stupid. Don't do not do that shit. You don't then need people to do are, that shit. People are getting choked out for bootlegging big like, cups. And there's, like, all <laughs> these important fucking discussions we could be having, and these people are focusing on fucking, <clears throat> like, just doing the dumb doing shit in the dumbest way fucking possible and it's no wonder well, it's pissing people the fuck off well, it, it's because i i think i think a lot of it is done this is another one of those things that is done out of kind of like a well here's our end game this is how we think we'll reach it but in reality the implications of it like uh, in seattle where they did that sugary drink tax and like a coca-cola now costs like five times as much as it cost before so now they're actually bootlegging soda into Seattle from like other places so people can make a profit off of it. How many times do people need to learn this lesson about prohibition? Like yeah, how many fucking times I, do I wonder need to I be wonder, reminded about black markets. How bad would the healthcare system have to get before you start bootlegging your <laughs> your medical like shit and your doctor and your surgeries and shit? Well then well then That's, again here here there's a lot of people that do that. There's a lot of people here that go into Mexico because Mexico has like no hardly any regulation on like their health care and you can people here go right across the border and they get medicine for like a fucking 20th of the price that it costs here oh yeah the the fucking prices we pay for medication here in the u.s yeah. is fucking retarded considering what yeah. our neighbors pay and, and like i say and, and by the way mexico not exactly first world and not exactly a uh, uh that's not a health care for all state either that is one where the government is completely separated from it it is like insanely cheaper here 
Because there isn't <laughs> all like that shitload of like regulation Kay. and red tape on it. Carrie says I pay eighty cent extra for Coke. Only Coke. You sound like my girlfriend. <laughs> she she's only drinks fucking Coca Cola. She will yeah. not drink a fucking Pepsi. Period. Oh, I know it's I know it's taxation, Cerny, and I'm, it's a, the the result is the same though, and that's people having black markets. So the the what you have to do is find that line where it's not so ridiculous that you create that fucking black market. Like like yeah. it's um it's like uh with with weed okay like they're like they they won't legalize weed cuz everyone just grow their own well not if you make it so that it's way more convenient and accessible to just buy it from the fucking store when i want a beer i don't fucking start brewing beer i don't go like harvest my hops and shit i go to the store and i buy beer okay and that's that's the way i do it cuz it's way more convenient and if right. this is, if i want to get high i'm not going to go plant a seed you know thinking, what I mean? I'm going to go to the store and buy well, the fucking it's, marijuana. It's, it's yeah, because it's the, the, Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say they're thinking that the price is still going to be as high as it would be, you know, when it's illegal rather than on the market where the price will be lower. Right. But, but the, the reality, this is something uh, I, I remember this going back to like several years ago when I first got into like libertarianism and it was Penn and Teller. And they had said this, they had did this thing about pro, prohibiting things, whether it was guns or drugs or whatever. They're like, just because something becomes illegal doesn't mean it's going away. It just means the new people are running the market now. Because as the demand is there, people are going to get their demand met in one way or another, even if that raises the prices or not. And that's, Sometimes it raises it drastically. You know, yeah. there's been certain things are a lot harder to come by than others. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a. Uh, it's really funny how the, um, especially like in the U.S., the DEA and, and shit focuses on certain drugs, um, like de depending on like the mood they're in, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? Like they, they will really focus yeah. their efforts. At, like, well, yeah, it's, it's like uh, it was cocaine for a long time. And then, then uh, you know, it was weed for a long time. Then it was cocaine. Then it was, you know, heroin or, or what the fuck ever. Um and opioids you, and shit like it's 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 hilarious how they just f change their focus with uh, as shit gets popular but it's almost like whatever they focus on just dr drives the popularity to something the fuck else and then they have to chase behind that and then that drives the popularity to something the fuck else and they chase behind that have you, have you heard a latest thing about real estate uh, civil civil what do they call it civil forfeiture or whatever when they uh seize your property because they think it was involved with drugs like the, oh yeah the, uh, uh fuck it uh oh the term yeah i'm right there with yeah you. i know what you're talking about asset think, forfeiture as well well what, what they were doing lately is the cops there's been cases of cops who have seized uh homes on the accusation of the person being a drug dealer or, or a drug user and without a conviction seize the home and put it up for auction and they find out that the people buying the homes are cops the cops themselves who want to get into real estate market yeah like that's not some shady shit i've that's i've seen fucked up. i've seen yeah. stories of where the cops specifically look at uh like for certain vehicles that they want to have like confiscated for that fucking reason and they'll they'll target those vehicles so that they can seize those assets you know it's and, and a cash especially um there's been stories where uh, someone was carrying like 17 grand on them cash because they were going to like buy a vehicle they were literally driving a truck with an empty trailer behind it to tow the vehicle that they were about to go buy back home and the cops pulled them over and like it's, I don't know if he just told them he had 17 grand or like cut, patted him down and found it, but the cop seized all the money. And and he's like, this is, he was between states to go pick up this vehicle. Oh, and he's like, so oh. he's out in the middle of nowhere, some fucking bum fuck county. And he's trying like for, they had it for like 18 months. He's been fighting him, trying to get the money back. And he's like, Jesus it's almost, it's basically Christ. a lost cause at this point. They yeah. they not only should have to pay him back, but I'm talking like a interest. lot of interest. Fuck a yeah. lot of interest. Anyway, next. All right. Um, you said uh, you had more of the. More of the uh, French shit for us. Uh, 
I thought I, I thought Mr. I had, Drew. I thought I had the. Mm. One See Drew play. Au revoir. When I was on the. See Drew play. Get it? See Drew play. Let's. I don't know if this is French, French or not. It seems European. Try finger wars. <laughs> <laughs> no on. fuck a year go back you gotta get a good freeze frame when they're close together flicking each other off so we can get a good photoshop <laughs> some photoshop ability for sure <laughs> no you do not understand the fuck a year fuck a year that X. yeah <laughs> no, buddy. I don't think I don't think you get it. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you, buddy. I don't see the license plate though. Uh, this is probably New York. They have those yellow license plates. No, but you have to have a front tag in New York, and most of those cars don't. Well, I see the van does. Do the others not? Nope. You know that you have to have a front tag in New York. Yeah, buddy, I know that because Florida is one of the few states where you don't have to. We don't have to. Yeah, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. You're also one of the few states. A lot of states require you to have front tags. My my car came with a fucking front tag holder on it, and I took it off. I mean, it, it looks like they all have front tags. Uh, I don't think it... the one behind it. Yeah, I don't think the fan behind it did. But it, maybe it's from another state. Sorry, guys. I didn't know. It. I don't that's know. Maybe the... it is. Uh, that yellow is New York. That's how I know New York tags no yeah it's, got the is... empire, it's the empire state things Would yeah everybody else a couple of guys away. flip each other off in new york though come on honestly this could be dc and i wouldn't be able to tell the difference <laughs> no but the reason is because the only tags i see that are not white are new york dc is a thing uh no there's a green one um is there yeah oh yeah i never see it can't remember where the fuck it's from. They're all white. Y'all's every Florida tag that I see has oranges on it. Yeah, well, I mean, that you probably don't pay attention. They Florida has, I think, the most custom um, license plate choices of any state. I mean, it's go look at the list. It yeah, is it's fucking ridiculous. ridiculous. There's there's like fucking oh endless summer. There's fucking choose life. There's fucking you know uh, save the fucking dolphins. There's like there's everything you can goddamn think of. It's ridiculous. Well, Panthers and the, oh yeah, every sports yeah. team, every every college, every university, fucking yep. uh, every Southern animal. Florida A and M. Yeah. Oh god, it's Florida Panther. Fucking uh, water moccasin. I, I'm kidding. They don't actually have that one. <laughs> We're the Florida water moccasins. That was an actual moccasin on the plate. You don't you don't go near it to bite you. Mm -hmm. Uh. I don't know if now is a good time to play it, but Dark Matter, you actually gave a sneak peek of your next. Yeah, video. if anybody wants to see a sneak peek of my next cartoon, my next episode of Power Corrupts, it's I got a two and a half minute clip of the beginning, and Drucifer himself. I used music that he composed and performed. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Now, now. I haven't been asked to read anything. Am I to assume that my character is fucking dead? Maybe. Maybe. I. He's... <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Jesus Christ. What? The Florida license plate. <laughs> SRG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Uh... He beat the system. Like said, th it. This is why it's why Florida started using two oranges. <laughs> As I was say, every Florida plate that I remember is the two oranges. <laughs> they had enough people doing license plates like this. Dude, I will. I just will never forget. Do you still have it? The license plate that I saw on my way back from Key West. Oh, the fucking bald. It's why be bald? I I yeah. was like I can't. I was driving and I'm I'm like, I you know long drives. Traffic kind of sucked. I'm like, does that fucking license... I, I'm thinking I'm seeing shit. I've been doing the podcast for too fucking long. Does that license plate say bald on it? And I look closer, I'm like, why be bald? 
I'm like, no shit, this is a fucking like air plug doctor or <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, driving. I was about to say. Yeah. Oh my god! And it totally was. And I was you like, know, I fucking had to tailgate him to get a good picture. The ultimate the karma would be if you had gotten killed in an accident trying to get that picture. The ultimate karma. After all the crap you guys have put me through. No. I mean, it would have been funny <laughs> if I fucking rear-ended his fucking car, but not to die. What, why be bald? And then you, like, the why be bald plate got lodged, imprinted on your forehead. Yeah. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. That's I actually so wanted specific. to get you a little custom Florida license plate that said why be bald because you can order those. Oh, this. oh, dramatic unicycle with the karma. Nice. <laughs> sorry, sorry. There was one, there's a video I'm looking at here that you sent me, but I was supposed to read the comments of it too. Uh, sometimes the comments are what makes it yeah. everything. This if is, you would like to save it, that's fine or whatever. Well, th this is from mosque to morgue. <laughs> This video is super long. It's super long, but what what happens here? Well, here, yeah. I just, I'm sorry, I hear that noise, and I imagine something blows up. No, it doesn't go like that. This dude, basically, that dude in the white. He goes down a little bit before everyone else, and then he just never gets back up. <laughs> you he, had a thing did. where it was, it was something like the comments. I was supposed to read. Oh, yeah, the comments on mm -hmm. it are like all like, such a beautiful way to go. Be with Allah. <laughs> I'm like, why they got to talk like that, huh? You Allah. racist. Allah. Well, let me show the comments. Maybe he's just extreme, a Muslim extreme. Extreme Muslim. I'm about to say that sounds bad. <laughs> Extreme Muslim sounds awful. He never stops praying. He died in prayer. How will you die? Think about that. That's the third comment. To die, yeah. to die while making prayer is honorable. Yeah, it's fucking great. Here, scroll down some, damn it. <laughs> I gotta see more. His faith is inspiring to me as a Christian. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Nice, nice death. I'm not an <laughs> yeah. Islam. Why do they? Why do they assume that he that he had a, a lot of faith and everything? Maybe he just you know fell asleep. Was a yeah, maybe he was a shithead, and you know God he was decided to him. go to prayer that day. Yeah. Dude, that, uh, that is the best. Nice death. I am not an Islam, but I think he Dude. died in what he believed. <laughs> Not look, at, look at N.M. Emron Hussein. Such an honorable death. Salute to you. Two to you, sir. Wait, Salute two to you, sir. So, As so, if he's reading your fucking Facebook comments about his fucking video where he died. Wait, wait, wait so he actually <laughs> died during the prayer? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. They're, they're just now... Dude, this video goes on forever. <laughs> they are just, just now figuring out video. that he is not currently praying. Holy shit. Like, that's the thanks I get for praying. Mm-hmm. You're at peace, brother. Mm-hmm. I think he saw his death and went into Sajda then. Okay. What's Sajda? Fuck if I know. What do I look like? An, like an Islam? <laughs> what am I, an Islam? <laughs> Why? How come people are now all of a sudden so concerned? Like, they're just staring at him and... Like, what happened for people to all of a sudden be so concerned? I don't know what happened. Did he? Did he? Did someone, real quick, when we weren't paying attention, come right, come by and snap his mecca? Oh my God! <laughs> a man so, died, TJ. So he he just got a front row seat. Mm hmm. Oh, so sad. Why? Why cry? He's may we old. all be blessed with a similar death. I mean. May we all be blessed with us. Jesus. May wait, wait, what's the one above it say? Go up a little bit. Only in Islam one can be envy of someone's death. Subhana Allah. Yeah, Allah, give us a good end. What the fuck is wrong with people? Uh, 
my god I'm tired of this it's nothing but rape culture and camel culture Drew Here, baby, as long you'll... as you don't cross those two cultures we'll be fine camel rape culture is next <laughs> Here, by the way we could photoshop this but this is this is neat oh Ooh. no photoshopping because I know exactly how that's going to fucking look turn this, out look at this fun little thing that oh, is Jesus. fucking terrifying. I'm moving this. That's, All you gotta do is scroll over it and then it fucking moves. Yeah, it's three oh. dimensional. It's fucking what if Adventure Time guy was real life. Well, the way Ooh. they're doing, they're turning everything into, you know, uh, live action. Live action. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is it's, nightmare fuel. This, yeah, this is going to be the most horrifying decade of all time with the way they're turning all of our childhood stuff into live action. Ugh. Wow, that is total fucking nightmare fuel. All right. Holy shit. What the fuck indeed, Carrie? What the fuck indeed? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, I hadn't seen it in a while. I sent that a long time ago, and I was like, oh, I forgot that existed. Damn it. Hold uh, on just a second. I got to remember to delete that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a hold on. delete. All right. <clears throat> See what else we got here. Um, we still got quite a bit of stuff. We have when animals attack. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> What did it do? Nothing. <laughs> That's just like the Asian lady on the beach with her sandwich or whatever it was. Yeah. Dude, this octopus is about to fuck this girl up. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so dejected. <laughs> Are you okay? Is it? Was that like a penguin or something? It's like a little baby duckling, it looked like. Yeah, little ducks. A little chicks. Tarpon, dude. Oh, Ooh. and. Good job. See, now you're good. Oh. You're fine. Okay, you're good. See? Oh my gosh, look, you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> dude, that thing crap right onto his fucking oh tank. Oh my gosh, look, you've got it. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, is Jesus right. Christ. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that. No, don't let go. It's <laughs> gonna have nightmares. Oh! <laughs> do you want me to do it? <laughs> Ew, it's. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, the tail. Yeah, those fuckers spit. <laughs> Scope! Scope, <laughs> dude. Let me have Scope. that. Scope still has a swoop, ironically enough. Let me have that. Yoink. <laughs> the top gun of pigeons. Or seagulls. All the dirty we're gonna cut it off. Oh, oh rats! <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know. You better look though. Alright, it's okay. Get up, big boy. Come on with the broken wing. Oof! Good strategy. I the kid should have ducked. It was too late. He already had his goose cooked. Right in between <laughs> the two leaves. He's scared. Oh, shit! Oh, he's scared. As soon as she said he's scared. <laughs> Dude, you're a big... What's wrong with you, man? You're a grown man. Yeah, but it's, it's shit like this that makes me like wonder how our species made it as far as we did. I'm talking <laughs> about like like the early hominids were like 
on the plains of Africa with like yeah, sab- like I don't shit. know like saber tooth cats and shit. Yeah, we they didn't like, give a shit about a mouse. Yeah, but we were like barely even like bipedal. We walked like a mile a second or some shit. You like crazy slow, like super frail. Our skin is like tissue paper. And then we like survived. And now people are well afraid of mice. I, I'm 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 afraid of mice too. I don't know. I'm not gonna bullshit. We we take fucking so long to mature. Like a fucking a fo- a foal is running around like hours after birth. Hmm. Humans are fucking mouth breathing retards for the first god knows how many years of their lives. Sometimes all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that, poor fucking kid. That makes me want to play the. Was it the day like Chad became a man or whatever? It's like the guy, the kid kicking at the fucking uh, chicken. That's a song for that. <gasps> oh, <laughs> big boy. Is that a monkey? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. That, yeah, that's, that's just a cow. Uh. Holy cow, bro. What? <sighs> Drew, uh. you getting upset with me is like the pot calling the cattle black. The cattle? <laughs> I'm trying to see a good last nerve here. Oh, we only got a couple of minutes. I guess we can try this one. This one's been in the rotation for a while. Um, it's called So Much for Free Speech. I, don't, I really don't remember what this is, though. We'll try it. Okay, I see a guy in a Trump head. Oh, the Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's one. Oh, this is this is uh, way back. Yeah, this has been in here for a while. It just there we go, please. That was it. Well, yeah, you do. You do need to step away. You don't get to rip people's signs. <laughs> Dramatic says Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah, until she turns around and you're like, oh. I think you mean Dark Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, Dark mm-hmm. Daenerys 25, 25, not affiliated cop podcast. <laughs> no, you didn't even. Okay. <laughs> Maybe maybe they saw the sign and it opened up their eyes. Mm. No. If no. you disagree with someone, it doesn't give you the right to destroy their property. And if you were doing that, you know, something wrong with you, here's your sign. Really? Man. You of all people just Bill Ingvald. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. It's a literal sign, Drew. Yeah, it was. That was the um, the court thing here recently. Like it was like one of the first things that Kavanaugh even <clears throat> even like rolled on or whatever. And they're letting Planned Parenthood keep their funding. Wasn't that like the first thing that they did? I have no idea. That was I the have... one. That was the one here recently that everybody was like, you know, like Ka- uh, Kavanaugh and the one of the other. Uh, I think it was Roberts, and they're both like the conservative justices or whatever. And they both sided with the liberals to like not hear the case about stripping the funding from Planned Parenthood. So Planned Parenthood huh. keeps their funding. That was like the first thing the guy did after all this 
Shit. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, but do you boof, Drew? <laughs> oh, shit. What were all of them? It was boofing and, uh... Wasn't there another one? There was, like, two more. I don't boof. Just ask Squee and, uh... Yeah. Whatever his name was, Squee. Squee. What a fucking... If your, if your nickname sounds like a scene out of Deliverance... <laughs> <laughs> uh, good shit uh, I mean not good shit but she is triggered guys not having it well she says something like I'm a I'm a rape survivor or something mm. either way you don't I'm, I like and that's that's absolutely awful but you don't get to like rip up people's signs because you don't like what they say yeah sorry lady yeah if it, it it shouldn't just don't do that kind of shit either way it's not good it does not leave a good uh, taste in the mouth of anyone observing anyway that's the show guys hope you enjoyed it if you're uh, still around show give us a thumbs up show us you made it all the way or a thumbs down I really don't give a shit um, and then uh, so thank you dork matter and your creepy baby face for joining us a big mm-hmm. salute one last time to all the patrons. We really love the fuck out of you guys. Thank you again. Uh, and Drew, excellent show. We will be doing that patron show sometime soon, so mm. stay tuned to your messages. Uh, and otherwise, we will see you next Tuesday. Night, guys. Later. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> we love you. God loves you. He really does. Bye-bye for today. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye for today. Bye bye. We love you.